Well, hello everyone. I am still flabbergasted we made it to 300,000. All from mostly reciting the most bizarre posts I've ever seen on any social media ever. And that doesn't include just Tumblr. Twitter and Facebook were kind of weird too. But I'm still kind of chugging away at the, uh, the thank you. Well, we'll make it the official thank you. This is a side thank you because the first one did so well surprisingly. <laughs> um, so while I'm chugging away at the best of my channel, uh, because there is a, there's a lot of suggestions and I've got to hunt down every single one of those bits and it's taken a while. It's taken a while. But for this, because the first it came from Tumblr, the movie was so well received, guess what? Here's a sequel. Shorter, but that's Probably a good thing. Four hours was a a little bit of an overestimate from the last one. But yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the madness. Thank you guys once again for 300,000 subs on YouTube. Love you. I got like rug burn on my arm knee like four months ago and it's still freaking dark there. I think I got a scar from rug burn. What the hell is an arm knee? That thing. That's... It's a freaking elbow. What's the word for horny, but not in a sexual way? Like, I'm horny for Halloween, but I don't want to screw a pumpkin, you feel me? Do you, do you mean excited? Dude, imagine if you could screenshot real life. Camera. That thing you're talking about is a camera. Imagine if worms had legs. Centipedes. Today, I forgot the name for cauliflower, so I called it albino broccoli. That's actually not that far off. So we have an Italian exchange student in our school, and he and I were hanging out, and he saw a pony. He tried to show me, but he didn't know what it was called. So he just pointed at it and said, Look, the compressed horse! And then he just grinned at his complete understanding of the English language. That's precious. Dad just said, There should be a Netflix for books! Five minutes later, he shouted, <gasps> The library! I was talking to my boyfriend, and I was trying to describe a type of marine animal, but I couldn't think of its name, so I said, Sea pancake. Manta ray. Manta ray is the word I was looking for! I couldn't think of the word for tea, so I said England water. I just remembered that one time I was high and referred to Hamlet as the Fresh Prince of Denmark. What if snakes had tiny little arms and legs, like, oh my French god! So... Apparently those are called lizards. There are two types of people. I am literally the only one who commented on this. There should be like, feelings hookers. Like you hire one to come to your house and they sit there for an hour and listen to you cry about your life, then afterwards you pay them a hundred bucks, and then you never see each other again. How perfect would that be? That's a therapist! That's the thing you just described! Like for realsies! Go get therapy! Did the sign survive the Titanic? Yes to Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Pisces. And no to Leo. Having a picture of your girlfriend as the lock screen on your phone is the 21st century equivalent of keeping a locket with her picture in it. This is actually such an adorable comparison. Not if you watch School Days! I'm getting flashbacks, man! Instead of desexualizing women's Halloween costumes, we should sexualize men's costumes and make it equal. I want boys in underwear and cat ears. I like your style, kid! Good non-gendered words to say instead of dude to someone who doesn't want to be called a dude. Buddy, bud, pal, neighbor, mate, Partner? Don't forget. Comrade. Mortal. Boring and disrespectful. Oh, I can't survive without my morning coffee. Energy drinks make it so that I can get through my boring work and so on. Living properly. Treating caffeinated beverages like very mysterious and powerful magical potions that give us unforeseen abilities. Dude, 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 drink 15 cups of coffee in a day and you can clip through walls. Potion seller? I am going into battle and I require your strongest potion. Phantom Macchiato plus five shots as usual then? F*** me up. Get me that knowledge juice, mage! W welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Do you ever just sit there and wonder what life must be like for people without anxiety? Like, they just... do things. Without worrying about them first, wow! Anxiety is an excuse. I hope you walk barefoot on a world of Legos for the rest of your life! This is the chemical formula for love. Dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin. 
It can be easily manufactured in a lab, but overdosing on any of them can cause schizophrenia, extreme paranoia, and insanity. Let that sink in. Dude, that's so fricked up. Dude, that's my chemical romance. I went to the farmer's market yesterday, and at the Honey Guy's booth, there were all these bees just hanging out. Checking out the beeswax tabs, floating around the honey jars, not being aggressive, just really gentle, and investigating or something. I don't know how bees work. And as he was giving me a sample of the wildflower honey, one of them landed on his hand, and he just took a drop from the jar and dabbed it onto his hand for the bee. When I asked if they were his bees, he said, no, but they show up every time I come out. I think they just know my truck. And this guy is well known among the local bees and lets him sit on his hand and eat his honey. And I really, really just like this bee guy. Dude, what more of an endorsement could you help for? I don't want to alarm you, but you met a freaking forest nymph. Squidward literally lives in a deluxe three-floor loft. And he's a cashier. Squidward must be on back page selling ass. Dude, SpongeBob's crib got like 10 rooms, a library, and a baby grand piano. I'm starting to think the Krusty Krab is just a front. The Krusty Trap. I mean, it is shaped like a lobster trap. Once I was walking home with some law school friends, and they were like, why are you walking up that street? Your street is like three more streets up. Yeah, but there's a house on this street, and sometimes their golden retriever naps in the sun on the sidewalk, and I like to give him belly rubs. Now all the law students walk up belly rub lane because law school is stressful and dogs rock. And I bet that is the happiest dog. I'm trying very hard to live by cat principles. I am glorious above all things. I eat when hungry, sleep when sleepy, and play when bored. Affection is given and received on my terms and only mine. Show displeasure clearly. No! Demand the things you want. If they aren't given, demand them again, but louder this time. If you are touched when you don't want to be, say so. If they continue to touch you, make them bleed. I think cats are really onto something here. Since my stepdad cheated on my mom and he's being an ass, I put a crap ton of that tasteless powder laxative in all of his diet shake mixes. He won't notice until he shards himself and not be able to figure out why. Update, he soiled himself at Walmart and I haven't seen my mom laugh and smile that much for months. You are a hero! Oh my god, I'm at the grocery store and there's this guy in the frozen section who has tweaked off his balls on some kind of a hallucinatory drug. I'm in the next aisle meowing softly through the cereal boxes where he can't see me, and he is losing his mind pulling pizza boxes out of the freezer and yelling that he needs to save the popsicle cat! My bad person! August, September, Halloween, November, December. I think you mean August, September, Halloween, Turkey, Christmas. I believe it's Sparrow's Hot as Balls, Frick at School Again, Halloween, Turkey, Christmas. Don't forget New Year's, Forever Alone, Windy as Frick, Crap It's Raining, Allergies, Oh hey, it's actually decent. Wait, never mind. And a partridge in a pear tree. Man, humans are lame. Why do we have, like, wings and horns and whatever? Humans can't even handle having different skin colors. How well do you really think that would go? That's basically the plot of X-Men. LITERALLY the plot of X-Men! F is for friends who do stuff without you. U is for uninvited. C is for clinging on to hope that you won't keep getting forgotten. K is for Krispy Kreme, yum. This is not what I wanted this post to turn out like. One time I got in the shower. It came out and no one was home and the lights were off. My entire family went bowling and forgot about me. Down here in the deep blue sea. Attention sarcasm users, we're being faced with a serious issue. There is only one sarcasm left. Now we've got to use it wisely. Please, for the love of God, think before you speak. It's gotta be good. Yeah, okay, I'll be sure to do that. Oh no, what have I done? I swear people get 500 times cuter when they talk about what they're passionate about. Unless it's Hitler. Then it's only nine times cuter. I am done! So I just realized something. Plastic dinosaurs, right? Plastic is made of oil, which comes from dinosaurs. Plastic dinosaurs are made of IRL dinosaurs. I... science has definitely come too far. How did you manage to spell dinosaurs differently three times? Do you ever get the urge to get up in the middle of the night while everyone else is fast asleep and just walk places and be completely alone and entirely dedicated to your thoughts? 
Yes, but the problem is I don't want to get murdered, you feel me? I feel you. We all feel you. Why are there so many people touching me? This is why you don't walk around in the middle of the night. So I can either bake these cookies at 400 degrees or 10 minutes or 4,000 degrees for one minute. Nick, no, that's not how you bake cookies, friend. Florid. Nick, no. What about 4 million degrees for one second? Nick, you're going to burn your house down. I'm going to harness the fucking sun to make cookies. Nick, please. You're either the friend or the Nick. On the bright side, I'm not addicted to crack cocaine. On the downside, I'm too poor to afford one. One crack cocaine. Hello, drug dealer. Yes, I would like to purchase one crack cocaine, please. Debit or credit? I actually have a gift card. What if, like, there was an exact copy of you somewhere? Except they're the other gender. Like, you guys could literally have a Freaky Friday moment and nothing would change. Imagine the best friendship that could be found there. I could literally go frick myself. Oh, there's two types of people. Kill your double. Apparently there are three. What color are mirrors? Let's reflect on this. Do you ever, like, go to put salt on your food and then find it odd that we sprinkle tiny pieces of rock on our food because we like how it tastes? Like, how freaking weird is that, am I right? I just realized we don't even know what dinosaurs sound like. They could have been speaking fluid German for all we know. It's too early for this late night tumbler. Guten Morgen, Herr Pterodactyl. Hey guys, I'm making French toast sticks in the oven. I'm gonna take a quick nap. Wake me up in five minutes so I can flip them over. Randy, it's been five minutes. Flip your sticks. <laughs> Randy, your sticks! How was that? Are your chakras all aligned now? Seeing John Mulaney do his robot test bit has given me a strong desire to see him play a live-action Riddler. But not like, as any other character other than John Mulaney. Like, let's just make a John Mulaney version of Edward Digma. Just this socially awkward disaster man who somehow becomes a supervillain because of a misunderstanding he couldn't correct without seeming rude. And now supposedly he's committed to killing Batman, but he doesn't actually want to be the cause of a man's death, so he just affixuates things with clues and riddles and battles of wits until Batman inevitably defeats him, and he's just like, oh, thank God, please don't kill me. Batman's like, you need help, Nygma. And he's just like, yeah, that's fair. I should probably look into seeing somebody at this point. I became a supervillain because of social anxiety, and that just might be a red flag, you know? Hey, Batman. Think you've seen everything, huh? We'll figure out how to deal with this. You know, Gotham General Hospital? Yeah? Well, you'll never guess what I let loose in there. Riddle me this. What has four hooves and presents a massive health and safety violation? I see you there, Batman. And I also don't want me to be doing what I'm doing. Oh my god, I need this. I need this. I need this in my life. Somebody give me a John Mulaney Riddler, please. Okay, okay, Animal Crossing. You can stick 17 refrigerators in your pocket, but god forbid you put a fish in a letter. That's just crazy. Why the frick is Sherlock Holmes' brother named Microsoft? No, 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 wrong. His name isn't Microsoft. That would be ridiculous. His name's Minecraft. Actually, no, it's mitochondria, the powerhouse of Great Britain. What are your resolutions for the new year? Ah, 1080p. Back to hell with you! Projected timeline of global warming. 2030, the ice we skate is getting pretty thin. 2100, the water's getting warm, so we might as well swim. And 2250, my world's on fire! How about yours? God, these sexuality gender type flags are stupid, and apart from the gay one, no one cares what they mean. That, that's the Welsh flag. Gender of the day, Wales. My fellow people, today we have a new abbreviation. LGBTW, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and finally Welsh. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Why is your ukulele so big? I feed it well. If you bite it and you die, it's poisonous. If it bites you and you die, it's venomous. What if it bites me and it dies? That means you're poisonous. Jesus Christ, Nate, learn to read. What if it bites itself and I die? It's voodoo. What if it bites me and someone else dies? That's correlation, not causation. What if we bite each other and neither of us die? That's kinky. Oh my god! How chicks put on lipstick. I can't stop seeing the beaks' his mouth, so all of them are just... Aah! I thought these were grapes. Why would grapes need to put on lipstick? To feel beautiful! How to cheer up in two easy steps. Whisper beep boop to yourself. Repeat until not sad. But why does this 
work! Plug your nose, say steep stop. Try saying boopity doop in a really deep manly voice. So today I got physically removed from an olive garden for eating too many breadsticks. How many did you eat? All of them? Get out now! There's just, there's so many freaking layers of obscurity to this joke. I feel like I've learned another language by just looking at it. God, this one's amusing. That feel when you help a friend with some family issues and only realize after the fact that he's gonna light you on fire as a result. I may have made a mistake! Midori Izuku, 2017. It was the best mistake you have ever made for me. Todoroki Shoto, 2017. Your expression is not reassuring me about how much pain I'm about to be in! Midori Izuku, 2017. Sweat dropping. XT! Does that satisfy people's needs of having me do a Deku impression? Because on Tumblr, I got that request a lot. Alright, this is a meme call out post. Chungus is just a Fruit Loop Cat reskin. Try to change my mind. I definitely am going to start practicing self-care more. I got it. I achieved inner peace. I achieved inner peace twice. For the record, I did actually eat a character to do this bit. <laughs> so what was your favorite in the game? Oh, uh, you know, uh, death freaks and what but it... Nut dealer. If you had the power to envision hell, what would it be like? Okay, so you know that moment when you're finally tucked in for bed? Everything is shut off and you're on the brink of sleep? When suddenly you have to go to the bathroom? That moment, but for all eternity. What people think D&D is going to be like versus what D&D is actually like. Apparently I made some people mad on Tumblr because I compared D&D to Goblin Slayer, but let me tell you something. It's not that far off. Also, I could have put in Kanesuba, but I forgot. List of words. The internet has changed for me forever. Random. Stand. Basic. Thick. Top. Bottom. Daddy. Mommy. Little. And feel free to add more. Benedict Cumberbatch? Did you mean Sherlock Strange the Dragon? Who is also a Grinch? Alright, Tumblr, explain your gender in ten words or less without using boring words like male, female, non-binary, masculine, feminine, or androgynous. Go. Rolling around at the speed of sound. My dad works for Nintendo, so you should just let me win and smash. Reblog if you support this hardworking single mom and her kids. She worked herself to the bone. <laughs> now, PM, you didn't try to waifu or a husbando anyone again, did you? No, sir. Then explain this! Is that what you think? She's a queen. Oh, no. What have I done? And in case nobody told you, I hope y'all have a great day and that it's free of any new pussycat. What's new pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's new pussycat? I have never in my life have ever gotten that to work. All right, who's the blacksmith out there molding titty armor to every strong female character more accurately than the bra fitter of Victoria's Secret? Tis I, Mandic the Titty Smithy. I make armor that will make you feel like Chris Evans is supporting your own breasts. Hey, call back. Land puppy, sea puppy, and sky puppy. But everything changed when the fire puppy attacked. God dang it, Growlithe. When you die, you appear in a cinema with a number of people who look like you. You find out that they are the previous reincarnations, and soon you all begin watching your next life on the big screen. Oh man, that's too much. This Baldi basic is freaking stupid. I still can't believe Renaissance fairs are real. It's like Anime Expo for fans of the Black Plague. Have you ever actually been to one, or are you just basing this on that episode of Family Guy? The implication that I've ever seen an episode of Family Guy in my life is worse than all the medieval insults that have been thrown at me so far. So, good job. The first person to keep a fish or another small pet and not eat it must have seemed really weird. Grog, why you not eat fish? Me like him! You starving, Grog. Me like him! Vodkila. Vodka and tequila. Don't just erase bad memories. Wipe your entire hard drive. I have never been more afraid of a liquid in my life. Who wants to do shots with me? Nick, no! Wait, what is that? Is this some kind of stone? Like a heating stone? It's an odd pattern. It kind of looks like, oh. Is that a goddamn condom full of spaghetti? Papyrus, what have you done? <laughs> I made a superhuman weapon to defeat you. Endeavor, you messed up a perfectly good child is what you did. Look at it. It's got anxiety. I'm standing right here. If I watch any Disney movies with you, then don't expect that we're just gonna watch it. No, we're gonna sing the songs, know the choreography, memorize the lines, and I expect you to understand the references. 
because once you agree to watch this with me, there is no going back. May I interrupt your scrolling with a turtle duck? Oh! Look at it! Rain of Planet 3 looks great! Jesus, I only have 151 hours left on this. I better charge it quick. Do you have a freaking nuclear generator as your battery? I don't think I've ever picked up a pair of tongs without clicking them together a couple of times. You gotta make sure they work. Tin all your inner crab. It's time for crab. Ra ra Rasputin, Russia's smallest ooh bean. Ah, this post snuck up behind me and stole my spinal cord like Sub Zero. The future. Holograms can physically touch you, and there are 12 cases of homicides committed by Hatsune Miku. Just 12? It'll be 13 if you don't stop asking questions. Pukicho, what do you know? Phase 1, travel to West Virginia. Phase 2? Phase 3, Mothman. Um, phase 2 is country roads? Please, Assassin's Creed, to study for my AP history exam. Like a bounce. Okay, this is actually really funny. In high school, my humanities teacher told us a story about one of the Europe trips he had gone on with a school a few summers ago. So him and a group of kids were in the middle of Rome, and the tour guide had gotten lost. They were trying to figure out how to get to some church they were going to see. All of a sudden, one of the students, like, tries to call attention to himself. He says he knows where to go and just starts walking around the streets, taking back roads and side streets, and within 20 minutes, they're at the church they needed to get to. My teacher asked the kid if he had been to Italy before, he just says, no, he just knew where to go because he played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So kudos to the Assassin's Creed developers. They actually made an interactive map. When an eel bites your thigh, then you bleed out and die. That's amore. God. It is time once again to cleanse your mind with these shower thoughts. Vampire chasing you into a carnival house of mirrors is the scene horror movies are missing. People who live in the Marvel Cinematic Universe probably have to buy special insurance to cover superhero damage. Tipping someone poorly because your food was bad punishes the wrong person. The first man who milked a cow was up to something. You get a job so you won't be homeless, but when you get a job, you're home a lot less. Super Smash Bros. is the only non-rated M game where it is okay to beat up women, children, and animals. As their users, we don't have admin rights in our body, and so have no access to sensitive parts like the heart beating, automatic breathing backup, or hormone release control. We whisper to stimulate screaming! Learning how to learn is by far the most valuable skill you can pick up in school. The level of satisfaction of getting a popcorn kernel out of your molar is never appreciated, although we have all experienced it. And finally, a vampire walrus would look a lot like a regular walrus. And this has been Shower Thoughts. And now it's time for some ominous positivity. You'll be okay. You have no choice. Everything will turn out fine. You cannot stop it. You will succeed. It is inevitable. Uh, you know what? I don't think these are enough. Guys? Your fate has already been decided. You will have a good year. You are going to reach new heights. There's no resisting it. Hey listen, I just wanted to let you know that if this year you're dealing with something like depression or something that you feel like you can't talk to somebody about, there are people that are willing to listen. There's people that want to hear you. There's people that want to talk to you. There's people that care about you. Trust me. Jimbo and Ted, the voices in the mountain, they told me. They said, listen, this guy or this gal or whoever, all right, they're not going to be depressed this year because they are the chosen one to not be depressed. And if Bill and Jimbo or whatever their names were said so, well, <laughs> you better listen. Your journey begins now. And no one can tell you. When it will end. Our destiny awaits. It does for everyone. I'm sure you'll have a great year. I'll guarantee it. Music is beautiful. Music is good for the soul. When you're feeling down, find a song that makes you happy. Play it at full volume, as loud as you can, until you go deaf and can't listen to any negativity ever again. You know, anything is possible, so long as you stick to it and work hard. Work yourself to death. Get on out there and break a leg. If you want light to come into your life, you need...
need to stand where it is shining. Hmm. Right? According to my calculations, all the years, months, hours, seconds, milliseconds you spent working hard in these recent years will pay off. There is a 100% probability that you will, as my friends would say, rock the 2019 New Year! Treat your body with kindness. You never know what else is listening in there. Now, regardless of how last year went for you, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely hope you guys have a terrific 2019. Because if you don't, I'll know. Remember, with over 5,000 forest fires in the United States just this last year, only you can prevent forest fires. And I am an arsonist, and I wanted you to know, I know where you live. I've seen what you do. I will not let you threaten my job. Only you. You will find happiness, whether you like it or not. Don't worry, you're gonna make it. I'm certain of it. This year, I see much success with your endeavors. Keep walking on the path towards your victories. Do not stray. <laughs> Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind, the Illuminati's coming for you and me, oh my. Shut up! I know you'll do better next time. After all, the Goblin King told me so. Your positive outlook bears fruit. Eat it whole. Finish the job. Make it clean. The next time that little voice tells you that you can't do something, just remember, you don't always have to listen to your conscience. Wow, you're just so well organized and professional. Say, are you looking for work? I need you to take care of somebody for me. Tough times never last, but tough people do. As another chapter closes, there is a new one that opens. Fill the pages with your story, but be cautious for those who you let read. All your dreams will come true! You don't get a choice. Remember that it's always okay to be a kid at heart, to cope with the crippling depression that is adulthood. Always remember to be braver than you are, because your true nightmare has yet to begin. Success is waiting for you just around the corner. And it's always watching. One of these days, everyone is going to recognize your accomplishments and see you for the wonderful person that I know that you are. Or they're all going to burn. Slowly. Love and happiness will follow you everywhere this year. Right now, it's outside your doorstep. There's a little demon inside you telling you to create. Listen to it. Be sure to take care of yourself. You're gonna do great. Or we're all doomed. Don't compare yourself to others. They won't be around long anyway. There, there. You've had quite the year. Rest up, take care of yourself, and above all, brace yourself for the year to come. Share kindness with others and they'll share it with you. Be ready for it. 2019 is going to be such a great year for you! I promise that luck will be on your side. At least, that's what the voices are telling me. <laughs> 2019 is the year of the periodic table. So as you think on what led you to this point, remember that if you're going to go for the gold, you can't nickel and dime it. It'll take iron discipline, taking every chance you can before those chances are gone, and believing in your soul for walking the path you chose. And if anyone gets in your way, bury him. I hope you have the best most wonderful year ever! In fact, you have no choice. Everything will be just fine. It is what the universe wanted, after all. Good luck with fulfilling your 2019 New Year's resolutions. After all, I wouldn't want to end up punishing you like I did the others. Nobody is perfect, and you're no exception. Thankfully, pencils come with erasers. And so do I. Good times are on their way, whether you're ready or not. You can do anything if I let you. They say you should live each day like no one's watching, but there's always one who is. Little by little, day by day, whatever is meant for you will find its way.
May your year be filled with happiness and success. So long as the gods say it's so. You're gonna make it far, but not without difficulty. You will surpass yourself in ways you never thought possible. There is no stopping it. Success is sure to come your way. Just remember to watch your back. You can accomplish anything if you just believe in yourself. Your future depends on it after all. You're so pretty. But for how long? Another day means another tomorrow. Unfortunately, life doesn't have restarts. Sorry. Did that cover it? I think it did. So yeah, hope you guys all have a fantastic year. And remember, watch out for that negativity. You better watch out. 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 It's okay. Everyone's afraid of something. Even you, Link? <laughs> no. Can trees go up, Brad? I mean, this cheese, and it tastes kind of funny, but also I'm like really, really hungry. The fact that lights don't start flickering ominously and short circuiting whenever I'm upset is maximally unsexy and not at all excellent, if you ask me. Oh, he's not dead. He's just vitality challenged. Anything can work if you believe in yourself and have a grenade. Good evening, so called hero. Sorry, it's me again. God damn it, get out. Before I do something stupid, does anyone want to speak up? No, 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 let's go with stupid, see what happens. I tried to push him into a volcano, but Zelda stopped me. You might be your god's chosen one, but I have flying proficiency, so who's the real winner here? <laughs> I took out your parasite first with three hearts and one bow. No one likes a show off, Link! So what word could you make up that would make each generation go, ugh? Dabitude. That's true though, I sighed during your presentation. Ugh. Are you a dad? Seymour, good job. Go torture people with it. Ugh. Delete this! Ugh. 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 I did a more empathetic half laugh. A half ugh. ugh. Although probably only as a joke, I now want to use Dabitude in a sentence to screw with my friends. So how would it be used in a sentence, friend? That boy has some serious Dabitude. Wow. Dabitude is almost exactly like dehabitude in French, so sadly it's unusable to screw around for me. How about for French followers, use persodabilité. I'm so angry that this pun actually works. How about one in German? Hold up. In Italian? Davergimento. Japanese? Chicaracuse? Put it in Filipino, I heckin' dare you. Saludabin. Portuguese. Personale dabde. Flappin' Welsh, you coward! <clears throat> Dabguid. Could possibly love me when I am a terrifying monstrosity. Well, well then. Oh my god! Mortal, your heart is balanced with the feather. You are on the precipice of both heaven and hell. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, were you like the first furry? Hell it is. Introverts don't get ready for a party. They gather strength for a party. This is 100% true. This tweet sounds as though introverts consume the souls of others before they engage in social events. This is 100% true! Behold, Lord of the Flies. How did you even- One universe, nine planets, seven seas, seven continents, 809 islands, 204 countries, and I had the unfortunate luck of meeting you. There are eight planets, you uncultured swine! Viva la Pluto, French you! I'm pretty sure Viva la Pluto, French you is the best sentence I've heard all week. Hedonism, as a concept, is so dope. And y'all gotta unbrainwash your religious upbringing nostalgia and realize that life is about kicking back and eating grapes around fire and nothing but a swimsuit and drinking margaritas. A little hedonism never hurt anybody! This post makes me want to rob you. What, an earned all of $10? Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely face. The ability to fly requires hollow bones. I could kick an angel's ass. I mean, you could kick a bird's ass, but you're not doing it. Why? A group of crows is called a murder. I'm not flocking with that. We all thought Loki was the odd one, but it turns out Thor is actually the friendly jock middle child in a family of bitchy drama club goths. And yet Loki's the one who's adopted, am I right? <laughs> what happened? Goblin food manifesto. All roots, including potatoes, are goblin food. Mushrooms are goblin food too. Meat, especially dried meat or offal. All junk food is goblin food. Macaroni cheese is goblin food, even if you used fancy ass ingredients to make it. In fact, all large helpings of pasta are goblin food. 
Anything eaten at 3 a.m. is goblin food. Anything thrown out slash slated to be thrown out probably becomes goblin food. Anything from leftovers is definitely goblin food. And stolen food is goblin food. But only if you're unrepentant about stealing it. If you're guilty, it isn't goblin. You know, I enjoy this goblin discourse. Yes, as I am a goblin, it is all my food. I don't trust that one. Appealed watermelon. Now you've seen everything. This is unsettling! I don't like it! Put this skin back on! Theory. LGBT was coined by the Beatles as an acronym for their names. Lenam, George Harrison Ford, Ball is Life McCartney, and The Drummer. What the fluff? How is he so big? He just has a really healthy diet. Ha ha, this! I don't know whether to find this cute or to look away and scream cursed image. I mean, it's Mickey Hatsune. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's cursed. You reading this? You princess. I don't care if you're a goddamn bodybuilder. You are now princess protein. Can we talk about the fact that there's a cotton sprout on the moon, please? And also, do you do you think it should be named? Because I don't want to refer to it as just the plant. There's a cotton sprout on the moon? Astro fluff. Astro fluff. Okay. I've yet to see the pun opportunity be made, so here it goes. <clears throat> President McDonald Trump. McKeyboard Waffle Iron. For the gamer in your life who desperately needs to eat breakfast. When you're cold, grumpy, but you still want to do really goofy things for the internet. A comprehensive guide to the way I speak. Okay, first off, is only gonna list one thing in his rebuttal. Goyle! No matter what gender, you will get called this goofy way saying, girl, damn thumbs. When tiny keyboard on screen is too weak for my huge toe thumbs. And, meh. When it's too quiet, but brain can't think of anything to say, so you roll a mental dice and land on one. Welcome to Wendy's, what can I get for you? Can I order an absolute unit of fries? What? I'm at large, I'm so sorry! Idea number 91. A food truck or dive that does flights of different kinds of mac and cheeses. You get six bowls of various recipes to try. And that's it. I bet I can get an absolute unit of mac and cheese there. Mickey. Mick Key. Mick Key. Keyblade. Son of a- I've been told that you can't breathe in when you try to smile. And that's a lie. I just wanted to get you to smile. All right, time to spot the all-time low fans. <coughs> I had your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria Chameleon. And hey, you, reading this, you're going to be okay. And remember, you got to love you. Let us sit back, relax, and cleanse our mind with these... Shower thoughts. Ignoring a problem is like letting it level up before facing you. Every single person on the planet is living in their own complete and unique universe because we can never truly experience anything from someone else's mind or perceptions of the world. Bat wings are finger bones with membranes stretched over them, meaning that bats fly with the power of jazz hands. Punching bags would probably make good hugging bags if you calm down for a second. One day, we will put down our favorite video game and never play it again. McDonald's needs a light-up sign, indicating when the ice cream machine is working just like Krispy Kreme has that light-up sign letting us know that the donuts are hot. Tacos are just well-organized nachos. The most unrealistic thing about the Wizard of Oz is that Dorothy wants to go back to Kansas. The Trojan horse would have gone down as one of the history's dumbest military blunders if the Trojans had decided to burn the horse. Because pregnant people will always exist, the average number of skeletons inside a person will always be more than one. Everyone talks about the little voice in their head, but no one mentions the little ears in your head letting us hear that voice. Game apps not showing you the time or battery on your phone is the equivalent of casinos not having windows or clocks. And finally, the idea that nothing matters is the root of both depression and happiness, but from very different perspectives. And this has been Shower Thoughts. Kyrie's... Kyrie's inside me? Oh yeah, she is. Know who else is inside you? Joan, Roxas, Ventus, the Beatles, the cast of Friends, a $5 foot long, and the last 13 years of my life! No, but seriously, yeah, you have a lot of stuff in you. All right, real talk. Comparing your relationship to Romeo and Juliet to express how in love you are is kind of like using Hamlet to demonstrate how close and well-adjusted your family life is. A big goes. <laughs> The cow goes. The horse goes. The 
dog goes. <laughs> you are grounded! So is Hughes. Just take me to art museums and make out with me. But they said not to touch the masterpieces. Well, somebody's gotta pin the artwork on the wall. <sighs> this is Johnson, those idiots are Frenching in the East Wing again. So why was Edward Elric named the Full Metal Alchemist? Why not the Punching Alchemist? Because by God, did he punch some stuff? Edward Elric, the dude who punched the gate of truth open just so he could yell a little longer at his little brother. Edward Elric, the dude who punched his own dad in the face. His dad, who's kind of immortal. Edward Elric, the dude who punched God. Like, literally, straight up freaking decked him. The catch these hands, Alchemist! Shout out to people who can't stand loud noises because of anxiety or sensory issues or chronic migraines and they have to deal with people being unnecessarily loud all the time but they can't do or say anything about it because that's rude and ruining everybody's good time! Well, maybe a shout out's not the best idea, but we appreciate the sentiment. My goal in life is to be as cool as Nick from Jimmy Neutron. He looks like a Mexican Sasuke. Sasuke. I want someone who doesn't watch wrestling to explain to me what is happening in this scene. COMPETITIVE LIGHT BULB REPLACEMENT! Tonight, robots struck and killed by self-driving Tesla in Las Vegas at CES. I is it beef? My god. We were so worried about the robots waging war on us. We didn't even consider them waging war on each other. I am the snake in my boot! Jesus Christ! My mom tried to teach our goats to pee in one certain spot by giving them treats when they pee in that spot. Except that they think that now whenever they pee, they get a treat. So whenever they see my mom, they pee. <laughs> Behaviorism gone wrong. Pavlov is laughing in his grave. <laughs> you stupid idiots! So today I learned Charles Osborne had the hiccups nonstop for approximately 68 years, from 1922 to 1990. His hiccups first started in 1922 while weighing a hog for slaughter. He fell and busted a blood vessel in his brain, resulting in him damaging a small part of the brain that inhibits the hiccup response. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that the default is yes hiccups, and there's a part of the brain that's specifically designed to say no hiccups instead? You sound surprised that humans are so badly designed. What happens if you put a werewolf on the moon is a great question. Probably the best question ever asked. He'll explode and die because there's no oxygen on the moon. We never said we'd send him up without a suit, you absolute monster. Does that sound like a conversation between a Slytherin and a Gryffindor? No? Okay. Find your real angel name. First two letters of your last name. First vowel of your first name. Third letter of your middle name. Or a parent's first name if you don't have a middle name. Last connoissant of your last name. Add I-E-L or E-L to the end. I'm freaking Flargle! All science fiction. Human beings will resent AI and robots will never trust them. Real human beings. I had to apologize to my Roomba for stepping on him today. I felt so bad he cleaned my whole house and I just stomped on him. Sci-Fi 2019. Elite police officers are trained to hunt down robots that are forbidden from returning to Earth. They call it retirement as a euphemism. Real 2019. The entire internet mourns a beloved Mars rover that gave a haunting final message as its 15-year life came to an end. I think my favorite thing about people who don't like Snickerdoodle Cabbage Patch is that we can all almost instantly recognize if someone's talking about him, even with names like Boiler Dang Crimpy Snitch. Bendy Doodle Cumberbunts. Um, correction. The best thing about When Picnic Remember Snacks is that anyone who has spent five minutes on Tumblr can recognize his name, even if it is warped beyond all reason. Mm. I mean, if you think about it, the process of singing the birthday song and cutting the cake is extremely satanic. No, but seriously, imagine it this way. A small gathering of people huddle around an object on fire, chanting ritualistically a repetitive song in unison until the fire is blown out and a knife is stabbed into the object. God, you must be fun at parties. Sounds like a party to me! Oh. My Greg. What if we named animals after the sound they make like in Pokemon? Take the bark for a walk. Hey, could you feed the meows? Aw, look at all the moos. Wow, that's one big... That wasn't even close to an elephant! Y'all ever just see a sibling interaction in media and you just know... it was written by an only child?
It's weird when siblings apologize in the movies, because siblings only apologize when they did something really, really bad, like murder someone or something. Otherwise, the siblings just casually start to talk to each other as if nothing had happened. I'm so sorry I hurt you. You're not only my sister, you're my best friend. Well, Mal, I don't know if you're still mad, bitch, but look at this meme really quick. If you ever meet someone who calls Gatorade flavors the actual name of the flavor instead of just the color, they are 100% a cop. Yeah, but you gotta specify. Frost color freeze or cool blue. You just can't say blue because there's more than one blue. Blue and light blue, nice try, officer. A nut for a jar of tuna is the same backwards. When has this sentence ever been said naturally for you to realize this? Ways to look more angelic. Carry flowers everywhere. Pink or gold eyeshadow. Wear long ankle dresses. Soft humming. And have a pink glowy blush. Or wield a flaming sword. Be covered in eyes. Three pairs of wings. Well, Announce your arrival by screaming, Fear not! Wherever you go, people who sleep with one pillow make me sick. People who sleep with more than one pillow are shown to be more lonely and depressed. <laughs> oh. Popular opinion, mint ice cream and other mint flavor foods taste great and y'all can't change my mind. OP, do you accept constructive criticism? Choose your next words carefully, dear sushi. Mint suck. You come into my house! Disrespect my mints! Today's Space Orc short is brought to you by Sam Alpha 9. Thousands of years ago, my ancestors flew to the human planet. They knew what had to be done. Yet they saw something called snow for the first time. Could they have brought some back? They would. Rather than a battle, my ancestors saw when they went to the human planet. They were welcomed with peace, given the gifts of carnations and a delicacy called cake. My ancestors were the first that proved the galaxy wrong about the humans. Rather than savages bent on conquering the galaxy, the humans were mostly clever farmers spending the days in the field. It was the year 76 to 18 for us, the Oite, when I went to the human planet on one of the shuttles. The sheer knowledge and brilliance of construction of the shuttle shows the intelligence of the human race. We arrived in the meadows of a place called Florida, coming from a world of flowers and one of their many languages, gifting us with strawberries. We went on our way and saw the Rocky Mountains, across what some humans called the pond to see the Black Forest, and to the Great Barrier Reef. So in conclusion, like my ancestors said before me, the humans and us will be, in any sense of the word, allies. While I find that to be a very fascinating story, I have seen the complexity of the humans. There are stories that are yet to be told. Like my first encounter with the human, Riley. May he rest in peace. For today's Tumblr video, we'll see how fast I can read these, thanks to the power of Death Wish Coffee. Death Wish Coffee. It's not sponsorship if I really like it. Right? <clears throat> Three, two, and one. No, I just ate a salad. It tasted okay. I ate a salad. Carl never eats a salad. Carl doesn't like vegetables. What is happening? Exorcism is damnness. Iceberg! Iceberg! I'm so done. Let us have a moment of silence in remembrance of the Titanic. Guys, I think my body's going into shock. Why? I ate a salad. That bad, huh? Was it one of the schools? Oh god, it's the same guy. Run! I am a simple man. I search for warmth and tiny spaces to curl up in. I like to have my head petted also. I diagnose you with cat. Bards are just mages who don't shut up. Rogues are just slutty knights. What about alchemists? Chefs without boundaries. Egg recipe. Difficulty. Egg. Time. Egg. Ingredients. Egg. Eight whole egg. Step one. Put a egg on plate. Step two. Look at all those egg. Step three. Congratulations. Roses are red. May I have a kiss? Oh, ooh. what does be this? This variant of the golden tail slash bastard moray is known as the banana eel due to its coloration and markings resembling a ripe banana. Uh, I'm sorry. What? The, the what moray? Let's call you the uh, golden tail. <laughs> okay, motherfucking new idea. You turn on your PC to keep working on your novel, but to your surprise, when you open the file, it is writing itself. You read some of what has already been written, and it seems your characters have created free will, and the plot is progressing without you. Oh, thank 
God, says the writer. LGBT. Lemon shark, great white shark, blue shark, thresher shark. You need to be about level 20 to defeat this boss. Ah, oh, jeez, I better go do some grinding. Me two weeks later, over leveled by 80, returning to the boss. I'm your god now. You need to be about level 20 to defeat this boss. My level two ass is about to have a come to Jesus meeting. <laughs> That's just a recommendation, right? Two types of gamers. What if that was your house? What if a sheep lives off the grass on your house? She's my landlord. Landlord? <laughs> The head bone's connected to the neck bone. The neck 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 bone's connected to the neck bone. There are seven cervical vertebrae. So hard at this. Bastard is no contest the funniest curse word. It somehow implies that the most hyenas thing you've done is exist. Me dumping a load of freshly washed but unfolded laundry on my bed. Boy, I'm sure gonna be pissed off about this when I want to go to bed. In Canada, you don't say I love you. You say, hey, hey, Maple Leaf, Queen Ham, Bacon, Moose, Antler, eh? Which roughly translate to, I'll give you my snow shovel. And I think that's beautiful. Hockey, hockey, Maple Leaf, Puck. What the f did you just say about my mom? <laughs> I did it. Wahoo! Expand! Ashitaka! Sammy! We are Sammy! Yarn Man! Boyo! Mozilla! Eevee! John Leguizamo! Toby! Captain Crunch! Jiggles! Punk! Better Punk! Bow! Mountain Dew! Hokage! Waifu! Doctor Who! Pee Pee! Bird Up! Broken! Mask Broken! Younglings! Gah! Meow Square! Ray! Google! Mr. Man, Matata -ta, -ta, ta ta Illiterate, Dark Illiterate, Zero Suit Flanders, War, Dummy Thick, Ike Man, Ash Ketchum, High Fiddly D, Mother Three, Snock, Emperor D to T, Olive Juice, Luminati, Iron Man, Jibbles Link, One Wolf Moon, Sociopath, Mega Mind, Yoga, Rosie Bowie, Whopper, Jiraiya, Me, Are the Useless Fighters. Fan service, Bozzy Man, Dragon Lover, Shrek, Little Bow Wow, Regular Show, Punchy, Kiki, Squall, Footsie, Bay, Shuby, Riddle Me This, Bell, Bella, Crux, Is a Destroyer, Not the Owl, Audrey, and Smash Announcer. So why is mostly everyone picking Sopple as their starter? They're small and sad and quite the mood! What if the Black Keys and the White Stripes collaborate and call it the Grey Matters? Hey, thanks for doing that for me. Guess what you can do now? What? <laughs> Movie idea. Moana, but instead of Maui using the hook, he just uses the people's elbow. I grant you this bizarre thought. A universe where Gordon Ramsay has a thick Boston accent instead. Oh, look at you thinking you're some sort of chef! Wake up, you piece of garbage! The emoticon, ooh, ooh just got scarier. <laughs> and Twitter made it even scarier. <laughs> you think in an open world like Breath of the Wild, they'd give you an item that lets you hook to trees and walls. Hmm. Seems like a long shot. Happy birthday! Thanks, Baruto's dad! I'm a bad man. Me. Meditation is a serious method to help some find inner relaxation and clear the mind. Also me. Dude, my chakras are just so freaking aligned right now. So there's certainly a lot of fan art already of the new Pokemon games. Yeah, man, it's a lot of Pokemon... Sword Art Online. Now you might be wondering why I didn't make a joke about the second title. I really wanted someone else to point it out. I guess we were all waiting for the... Rising of the Shield Hero. It is time to cleanse your mind with these shower thoughts by Tumblr. A trench coat and fedora are supposed to make you inconspicuous, but if you ever went out in public in that, you'd be the most conspicuous person there. Tinder is used for starting a fire, but it's pointless unless you have a match. To a chemist, alcohol is a solution. To crabs, we're the ones that walk sideways. If Nikon and Apple were to merge, the company would be Nightbull, a cool sounding name with a very unfortunate spelling. Neither T-Series nor PewDiePie want to end the race because it's way too good of advertisement campaign for both of them. iPhone's company missed a great opportunity by not naming their chargers Apple Juice. All the materials needed to create today's technology has existed since the beginning of the Earth. They weren't just properly put together yet. You can say please and thank you a million times and your toddler will never repeat it. But if you say the F word once, 
They will say it all day long to everyone they see. And finally, you don't realize how much force it takes to walk until you bump into or trip over something. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. It is time to cleanse your mind with these Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. If the gasoline tax was applied to the car manufacturer instead of the driver, we'd have the most fuel efficient cars ever. The first man to land on the moon, Neil A, is alien backwards. The biggest dick move in the world is leaving tomorrow you with all the work. Sesame Street missed out on the opportunity to create a relative of Oscar the Grouch who lived in recycling bins. A fat person has more skin than a normal person, therefore they are skinnier. Hair is disgusting the minute it's not attached to your body anymore. If you use a windmill to power your electric fan, then you're basically transferring the wind to yourself. We poison and exterminate trillions of small life forms with chemicals every year, but if a higher life form came and started doing that to us, we'd feel like that's pretty messed up. 50 years later, some of these shiwithuts will be used for 14 year old deep quotes. And finally, if someone pretends to be a kid online, they're most likely an FBI agent. If someone pretends to be an FBI agent online, they're most likely a kid. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Would you slap him for $88 million? No. No! Absolutely not. The only thing I'm slapping on him is a little kiss. Dude, I can't believe Blue's Clues finally got its own anime. I, I don't know what the screen cap is from, so I have no choice but to believe you. Dude, I already told you, it's a screen cap from the Blue's Clues anime. Look, Blue's about to give Steve his handy dandy notebook of death. Like, bruh, you paying attention? One day your child will bring home a friend and introduce them, and they'll have the name of a fictional character, and you silently whisper, I can't believe their parents were in that fandom. Someone in English wrote a story about how Donkey had to shoot Shrek in the zombie apocalypse because a zombified Farquaad bit him, and Shrek's last words were, Use more than one bullet. Remember. Shrek shed a tear and smiled. Ogres have layers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My Greg. It's all so clear now. Stop me, my crackers, me! I tripped over a bra today. I think it was a... Booby trap. <laughs> you said traps. That was like the biggest plot twist in my life. Today I learned cyanide had no effect on Rasputin in the first murder attempt because cyanide sprinkled over cakes converted to a harmless ammonia. It was cooked into rose cakes to be specific. The blending and cooking process fundamentally broke down the cyanide. I prefer to think he was just immune. After all, he is raw, raw, Rasputin, Russia's smallest to who bean. In my senior drama class, I had to play Gordon Ramsay for a film project. But we can only film in school, so we had to try to find a closed off room to use. The thing is, the room wasn't exactly soundproof, and apparently someone heard us, and that's the story of how the vice principal and four freshmen walked in on me wearing a chef's hat and yelling at my friend because their squid was so raw I could still hear telling Spongebob to frick off. Did did you get an A? Did you get the A, Squidward? Bruh, have you ever wanted to be the center of attention so bad you cut Asia in half like god dang King Solomon? Did anyone actually ever read those Animorph books? Nah, I just stared at the covers for a concerningly long amount of time before putting it back where I found it. I mean, bruh, same. God, I can't even... I can't even make a joke about Bart going in a heated gamer moment. This... This screenshot alone looks like a damn joke. Are you... Are you telling me this is unedited? The episode name is E My Sports. Not a single encouraging word on the screen. Mm, don't like it. Don't like it one bit. In the 1950s, one of the journalists criticized Marilyn Monroe, saying that she's only beautiful because of her fancy dresses slash clothes. Then she did this photo shoot wearing a potato sack as a response. Straight up savagery. God bless you, Marilyn Monroe. What is the purpose of training bras? What are we trying to teach the boobs? Well, uh... <clears throat> they are trained to be the very breasts Like no one ever bras To catch them is my real chest 
to train the marmatatas. I will browse across the store, trying on every size. Need training bras to understand the memories inside. Booby Moon! It's time to purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka with these shower thoughts. John Wick is probably getting harder to kill because people keep trying to kill him, giving him endless experience and training. When you find money, it's simultaneously both your lucky day and someone else's unlucky day. Having your phone at full charge and still be on the charger is kind of like being awake but just staying in bed. In Harry Potter, they had potions to regrow completely new bones, change your physical appearance to someone else's, or even grow new organs such as gills for underwater breathing. Yet, Harry was still stuck wearing glasses due to poor eyesight. A small, mildly disturbing thing about getting older is how much further you have to scroll down with selecting your year of birth online. Speaking a foreign language is like emulating another operating system. It will never run as smooth as the one pre-installed, but with the right optimization, you can come pretty close. As long as you're alive, you can never be 100% sure you're not immortal. As a kid, you believe working for a company is all serious adult business. When you finally start working, you realize that most of the time, it's more of an adult kindergarten. Due dates for babies are like estimated download times. And finally, if your butt cheeks were split horizontally, they would clap when you run down the stairs. <sighs> Colonel. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. When I was around five, I asked my mom why some people were different colors, and she said, Because God wanted a lot of flavors. And let me tell you, that was the wrong thing to say, because for the next three years, I thought God ate people when they died. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a clapping, as if ass cheeks gently clapping, clapping at my chamber door. Tis a visitor, I muttered, dummy thick, and nothing more. All right, since they changed Philosopher's Stone to Sorcerer's Stones for America, I decided to change the rest since us Americans are too dumb to understand the word philosophers. Harry Potter and the Whisper Snake Place. Harry Potter and that mean jail man. Harry Potter and the Hot Cup. Harry Potter and the Bird Club. Harry Potter and the guy with only some blood. And Harry Potter and Darth. So I was having a conversation with a friend about interesting D&D &D moments. He decides to tell me about one player who fulfilled his role a little differently. So this guy creates a half orc rogue, okay? Okay. Different, but it could work. The thing is, he puts no points into stealth. Uh, what? Instead, he only does intimidation. He cranked the points really high. So whenever he needed to perform a stealth check, he just walk up to the people he's sneaking by and yell, You can't see, Grog! And because of his intimidation points, the people would just respond in fear, I can't see you! I can't see you! Now that is how you play Dungeons and Dragons. If you call it the waifu catalog one more time, I'm calling the cops. My DM to me when I mentioned the monster manual. I had a question, and I answered it. Mm, I'm scared! Uh-uh, don't like that! No, no, go away, go away! What is that face? It's 2017. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select the papyrus font. Yes. Perfect. From a 9th century Irish manuscript, the phrase Massive Hangover, written in the ancient Irish text Agam, the monk must have been really having a rough day. The exact translation is Ale Killed Us, which is somehow better. Today I learned Pope Gregory the Ninth condemned the black cat as an incarnation of Satan, and consequently, it was the death warrant for the animal. This worsened the black death a century after Gregory's time because the plague was spread by rats, which were unchecked in Europe due to the decline of cat numbers. What I'm hearing is the Catholic Church was responsible for the plague. And what I'm feeling is not surprise. Did you yeet today, or did today yeet you? I noticed some of y'all were yoded today. Hang in there. You'll live to eat another day. Good idea. Marry a blacksmith so you can get free swords whenever. Hmm, better idea. Become a miner and then marry a blacksmith so he can have the required materials for you to get free swords whenever. And truly the woke idea? Make a harem and marry a full production chain. Now that is an anime I want to see. Stab wound? You mean extra bucket. Nobody on this website should be allowed outside, I swear to God. DM, you lose your balance and fall backwards, and as you land, you hear something in your bag break. 
Warlock, remembering he has four jars of live bees in his back. <laughs> oh, no. Damn, they really glowed down because that first bottle is gorgeous. That first bottle deadass looks like it's going to make you shoot crows out of your hands. The first bottle is also full of liquidized cocaine. So it will make me feel like I can shoot crows out of my hands. My 19-year-old brother put sports bottle lids on his chocolate milk. Thank you for sharing his wisdom with us. Bards are too powerful, they can learn mass suggestion. All they have to do is yell, EVERYBODY CLAP YOUR HANDS! And make up to 12 people do the cha-cha slide for 24 hours. DON'T EVER MESS WITH THE BARDS! DON'T DO IT! The ninth floor has temporarily been moved to the 15th floor. Also, Wednesday has been cancelled due to scheduling errors. What is this, Hogwarts? Rise and shine, Adam. Rise and Social skill styles. Elder Scroll Oblivion NPC dialogue. Hey dude, how's it going? If you've got to travel by the night, stay on the road. It's the danger you see. Bruh, what? Spot the difference. Extreme mode. By the way, if I found out you looted the adorable raccoon, I'm going to find you and I will personally end you. Imagine if Bojack Horseman's final scene was a fade out to the future with Bojack in a bar saying, and that's why the long face. And knowing the creators of the show, they might actually do that, and I'm gonna be mad. In 2017, we sent nudes. In 2018, we sent noodles. Now in 2019, we sent things that make us feel wholesomely happy to share our love of life with each other. Do it now! What's three-sevenths chicken, two-third cat, and half goat? Chicago. A lost spirit has trouble moving into the afterlife when they cannot accept being able to see if their two favorite TV series get to meet in one special. It's a crossover episode. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have cute terms like waifus and husbandos, but is there one for non-binaries? Inquiring minds must know. And after posting this, Tumblr has given us the answer. Spousu. Thank you. Are you consuming the basic food groups? Coffee, pizza, rice, and mangoes, right? <clears throat> well, one of those is right. It wasn't coffee. Halloween costume idea. An upright orchestral bass with legs just plucking the strings called a walking bass line. And then somebody on Tumblr made it, and I'm terrified. I made something cursed. And it made me realize that my puns have been out of control. And for that, I offer you a formal apology. <laughs> Prepare your mind for cleansing with these shower thoughts by Tumblr. English teachers put more thought into a novel than the original author ever did. People who have to give legitimately bad news on April 1st must have a really hard time. Beds are wireless chargers for humans, and caffeine is just a portable charger. Gamers probably like games so much because unlike in real life, the rules are consistent, make sense, and can be learned. If you hear weird noises in the night, simply make weirder noises to assert dominance, and maybe teak pose. We really take for granted the fact that most of our body is automated. You can tell which family member is coming up the stairs by just the sound of their footsteps. Expensive paintings are basically just trading cards for the rich. If Tom and Jerry were a book instead of a TV show, it would seem so much more violent. And finally, Lego prepares you for the Ikea furniture. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. I want to open a bookstore that is 24 hours and people can finally go out at 2 a.m. and be like, I just finished the first book in the series and I need the next one, stat. Or if people are just having a stressful night and want to be surrounded by books. My favorite part about this post is that someone understands that it's calming to be surrounded by books. Oh my god, a book nightclub. Read responsibly. Someone make this happen, please. If your pet holds out your paw, it's mandatory to gently grab it, shake it, and say, Hi, nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I don't I don't make the rules. Ant-Man bathing in hot sauce for about <laughs> damn it.
Twitch. I hate that you don't have to give extra content because everyone on the internet already knows what's going on and why hot sauce would be considered bonus damage. I help the shower isn't too toasty for you. Yeah. Tonight, UK airport sniffer dogs good at finding sausages but not drugs. Let them have the sausages. I almost scrolled past this! Like some kind of idiot! The most powerful thing humans have is the fact that you can drop a Hey, what's going on? Every pool. Into a conversation and immediately activate everyone's fight or flight response to go off in a 20 foot radius. Oh my god, why does Tumblr romanticize Hades so much? I don't know, Clarice. Maybe we're just tired and life is uncertain. And we like the idea of a stable husband with a steady job and a big dog in his own place away from all the loud, shape-shifting kink party gods. Persephone, we know this is you. Say I said it right, okay? Current lunchtime experience. Oh, cool, Starbucks is playing Africa. Wow, Africa is longer than I remember. This Starbucks has Africa on repeat. And if you're wondering why I said it like that. <gasps> Who did this? Who did this? It is the great pillar of fire. You must follow it to the promised land. This is not the Old Testament and I am not Moses. You supposes you are not Moses, but supposes you are Moses because Moses supposes erroneously. <laughs> and things to call people you hate. Easy bake oven, expired coupon, spam email, wet sock, squeaky grocery cart, inconvenient fire drill, cold bowl of soup, itchy sweater, Unnecessary movie sequel, overdraft bank fee, that one's my favorite, crying baby on a plane, wobbly table, sun glare when I'm driving just before sunset and I have to put my sun visor down because I forgot my sunglasses but I'm still really uncomfortable and it's just a big hassle all around, and finally, and the most powerful, Billy. Something, something, purify your mind. Shower thoughts by Tumblr. If life is a simulation, Whomever worked on cheese did a great job. You know you have made it above the poverty line when the sugar in your kitchen is brown and the salt is pink. Sarcasm is the intellectual equivalent of showing someone the middle finger. Knowing you have the next day off is more relaxing than having an actual day off. If we change the word sunburn to radiation burn and we change the tan to radiation damage, people would probably take them a lot more seriously. No, they would just think they're in fallout. Young love is willing to die for your partner. Old love is willing to live longer than your partner so they don't have to grieve losing you. Marking your post not safe for work will probably make more people read it. If Google created a dating app using all of their user data to match people with similar patterns of behavior, you would get as close to a perfect match as you could. Neuroscientists are a bunch of brains trying to figure out how a brain works. There must have been chefs in the Middle Ages who got arrested for attempted food poisoning just because the food tester had some kind of allergy nobody knew of. And finally, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is an italicized building. Uh, this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Initiating Roasting Program It's a shame you could only see half a movie now. I prefer Bob over you. Stop reading my power level. You wouldn't be the last one if your army got out of turret mode for once. Soul not detected. Whose small sassy child is this? I didn't know Talon was run by Saitama. Be a good student and stay on the payload. Are you practicing for Elder Scrolls 6? Quite the looney tune, aren't you? I don't feel the rhythm. Stop asking. It's American legend Troy Baker. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not think I would meet the devil today. I will show none to you. You remind me of the, oh, you're not him, Robo Centaur. Nice. Your tears will rain from above. Ow, I can feel the edge. Bastion says, get bent. Have you considered WW? Quite the fallout, aren't you? Hack me one more time and I will show you two terabytes of pain. You love balance and symmetry, yet you have three turrets. Think about that. Are you sure this is the right game for you? You know the cavalry is usually on horses. And good. I'm blue, dabu di dabu die. Do not mistake my chin for a banana monkey. Squeak, squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeakin. You don't even want to know what I said. What exactly do you do?
Oh look, it's the Wish version of me. It's time to do the thing in the shower where you, you, you know, it's Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. A nice addition to colonizing Mars is that humans there will not have to deal with mosquitoes anymore. One day we may just run out of miniature epiphanies to share. A viola is basically a violin that identifies as a cello. Proud of them. We live in an odd time in our society, where scientists can take pictures of black holes, yet some people still think the Earth is flat. You probably once saved someone's life due to the butterfly effect. If you start from any point on Earth and fly east in a straight line forever, you will always be flying east. But if you instead start flying north, there will come to a point when you start flying south. Nothing you see is real, it's just a virtual recreation of what your brain thinks the world looks like based off of sensory information. The slower a wink is, the more suspicious it looks. And yet the faster, the creepier. My solution, just don't wink. Machine errors do not exist. Humans built them, therefore if machines make errors, it is because humans made them wrong. And finally, pizza is actually a healthier breakfast than cereal. That's a fact. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Go eat the pizza. Make it a Costco run! Hit less any percentage, do you guys need anything? You doing the legendary cashier skip? What are you, a cop? Tracking service as helpfully as possible. Your order is out for delivery. It should arrive by 8 p.m. today. Me sitting by the door at 8, 12 a.m. Package. Me opening my apartment door anytime I hear the outside door open despite it being 10 a.m. Box. And bloop. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now get ready for Roman Emperor in a lower temperature. How about Caesar in the freezer? Or Roller in the cooler. How about Julius in the coolest? <laughs> Julius in the coolest. The second best pun I've ever encountered in the wild was when I was walking down the street in a hip part of Seattle and saw a couple of Budweiser cans thrown in a bush. And I said to a random stranger walking nearby, damn, the local beer harvest is really poor this year. And the random stranger responded, give it time, they're only buds. Yo, I'm pretty sure Toph's dad is Nicolas Cage. Son of a boomy. No, 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 no. No, 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 we're not doing this. We're going to steal the declaration of Ba Sing Se. Ocean's Eleven, but the mark is one of those underground government cheese caves. Is, is this English? I'm screaming, what does this mean? I said exactly what I meant. Listen, Knuckles has lived alone his whole life. Shadow has been frozen for 50 years. Silver's from the future. Blaze is from another dimension. Basically, what I'm saying is they'd all fall for Updog. I'm pretty sure Sonic wrote this post. You can't prove that. Consider this. Being fat and chubby is okay and good. <laughs> Sources? Me, looking at myself and going, nice. Dude, in an alternative timeline, Homestuck is popular in the mainstream and there's Funko Pop figures of all the trolls. Mmm, horrible. Dude, Vriska variants are Hot Topic exclusives. This post honestly gave me a huge reality check. Like, I think I have a tendency to live in a bubble, and sometimes I, like, forget that things are well-known on the online, and not necessarily so on the offline, as it were. Anyway, I see this and raise you Homestuck episode of the Big Bang Theory. Oh, God, no. Oh, Leonard, it's simple, really. You see, Little Cal is actually created by Gamzee, but he exists in the timeline separate from the human ones. He thereby retroactively has already existed in Dave's dream for years. Furthermore... Oh, God, make it stop! Feed a person vampire blood, and you get a ghoul. You feed an animal vampire blood, you get a hellhound. Water a plant in vampire blood? <laughs> well, you get a mandrake. Fill up your car with vampire blood? Probably good things, let's try it. Coming this Halloween from sci-fi. Vampire. Oh, dear God, no. Quick question, how does a human relax? I would very much like to try it right now, please. Mothman! There's no need to feel down, I said Mothman! Lift that man off the ground! <laughs> Are you an R pirate or a yo ho ho pirate? I'm a not paying $600 for Photoshop pirate. Oh, this one's good. One difference between cats and dogs is that dogs do absolutely nothing to mask their clinginess. While cats pretend it's a coincidence that they're in the same room as you 97% of the time. All right, the fact that I'm laying on your face means nothing. Just don't, don't read into it, all right? I'm just here, okay? All right. Dude, imagine an entire room and it's all pets. No floor, just, just bed. You roll too far to one side? Don't worry, bed's still there. All is bad. God is real. You're welcome.
The Flat Earth Society has members all around the globe. Join now! The seizure salad from McDonald's is so good. I can't date a girl who is lacto-tolerance. We couldn't even go out for ice cream. If you're applying for a job and you misspell the name of the company you want to work for, you won't get that job. Hashtag Amercha. Sometimes I snap at people on Twitter because I'm insecure. It's a defense magnesium. I think my grandma got diabetes. <sighs> Just because I'm white doesn't mean I can't have cornrows in my hair, right? I want to pet turquoise. I want to visit the Eiffel Tower in France one day. Despite the constant negative press, Confev. OMG, I seriously think I have ADHD. I can't focus on my homework. Twitter is my alter ego. Damn it, I lost 70 pounds. I look anironics. WTF is Obama's last name. Does anyone know? What is Barack Hussein Obama's last name? Oh, I got it. It's Hussein. And now abbreviation said wrong. At French Kichu. Bus tire weight. Dunk it yourself. Indescribable K-pop. Armenian kitchen appliances. Laying on legs. Cookies and punch. Nip nip. <sighs> Never open your face. Ostrich party. Oh man. Goat. What the French toast? Totally tubular yellow leggings. Transparent graphics interchange format. Alligator suit length. Bacon fritters forever. I love Laurel. I mean Yanny. I mean kiss my nickels. Never meditate. Xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone. Bring your own bitches. Yells above bright spirits. Wrong cookie. Terminal yelling syndrome. Degrading little content. Aggressive, sassy, and pretty. So much. Harm! The freelance voiceover field can fuel a bizarre paranoia moment such as crap. Did I send the screams of agony for the horror project to the kids' show project? Oh no. And now more abbreviations said wrong. Hashtag forever fries. Anime dudes rage! Boring, bland, balloons. Ha, jump kicks. Crusty cheese. Broken crusty cheese. Leggings make arses overpowered. Fucking yellow indulgence. Good grandpa. Go find yourself. I make horrible observations. Anime mouse pads anonymous. Downtown funk. Devil makes violence. Too many incubuses. Paper versus plastic. Persecution of Vladimir. Roasting omelets for lovely morning activities over a searing toasty computer. Reposting talker. <laughs> Ruining parents' goals. Waxing isn't pretty. Tough luck. Dungeon master rules. Probably correct. New smash fucking Rex. Yo! <laughs> If Taco Bell thinks they're revolutionary by putting nachos inside of a burrito, then they've never met a drunk person. Where do you think we got the idea? Why are you obsessed with Disney? It's for kids. First of all, bibbity bobbity back the fuck up! The boss hands me a gun. You know what to do. I nod. Outside, I frantically Google. Boss, gun, why? How to kill. Is killing okay? Re-gift gun okay? Most cutting thing you can say is, who's this clown? Because it implies they're A, a clown, and B, not even one of the better known clowns. Uh, Grandma, can you pick me up from my rap battle? It's over. No, I lost. He saw you drop me off and did a pretty devastating rhyme about it. If you live to be a hundred, you should make up some fake reason why. Just to fuck with people. Like claim you ate a pine cone every single day. Stop telling me your newborn's weight and length! I don't know what to do with that information! Is there anything more capitalist than a peanut with a top hat, cane, and monocle selling you other peanuts to eat? Does it have apples in it? No. What about pine? No pine either. Perfect! We'll call it a pineapple. I'll bet when Godzilla first came out, God was like, Damn! That name's way cooler! Ready for the week! In that not really sort of way, let's do this! Bartender, I'd like you to bring that brunette at the end of the bar a slice of your finest ham. And now even more abbreviations said wrong. Make your own brekkies. Be really tubular. 
I dance crappy. Ask someone about pancakes. Warner Brothers. French the walrus. Inner manga opinions. Reply via sick poses. Net, Net assimilation. assimilation. Diddly diddly. Where's the head cheese? Out of creativity. Yeet! Back to K-dramas. Ech! Ooh, Strong Bad's Toast. Overwatch Tournament! Cool others. Ugh, never ever request fairness. Full ech! Federal bees of investigation? Your tyrant. Are you Satan? Morgan Freeman's world. What would JoJo do? Suit the fuck up! <gasps> Senpai's on Snapchat! Like my stuff! Zenyata Zany Zen. Oh, my imagination! Kiss your soul. Couple of ways people have said my initials wrong. Present master. Proto man. Post Malou. Purple majestic. Popular man. Lies. Hello, pace minimum. Platypus motorcycle. Wah, wah. Precious maple. Premenstrual. Oh god, it's middle school all over again. Perfect man. Lies again. Probably married. No, no, I'm not. Possibly morbid. Pokemon master. Principal man. Pretty mobster. Bye bye, mutation. Please move. Polymorphic mandrake. Pie man. Pony man. Potato roni macaroni. No. What's a short, clean joke that gets a laugh every time? A Mexican magician says he will disappear on the count of three. He says, uno, dos, poof. He disappeared without a trace. I have a Polish friend who's a sound technician. Oh, and a check one, too. Check one, two, check one, two. Have you heard of Murphy's Law? Yes, anything can go wrong will go wrong. What about coleslaw? No. It's a thin sliced cabbage dipped in mayonnaise and sour cream. The Secret Service just had to change protocol for when the president is in danger. Instead of yelling, get down, they have to yell, Donald Duck! Now that's just goofy. A woman walks into a library and asks if they had any books about paranoia. The librarian said, they're right behind you! The other day my wife asked me to pass her a lipstick, but I accidentally passed her a glue stick. She still isn't talking to me. Dr. Frankenstein entered a bodybuilding contest. Upon arrival, he realized he misunderstood the objective. Want to know the last thing my grandpa said before he kicked the bucket? Wonder how far I can kick this bucket! Communism jokes aren't funny unless everyone gets them. Before you criticize someone, walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you do criticize them, you're a mile away and you have their shoes. My friend says to me, what rhymes with orange? I said, no it doesn't. I went bobsledding the other day, killed 250 bobs. Now that's not a clean joke. Tell me a joke about potassium. Okay. I used to be addicted to soap, but now I'm clean. How do you get two whales in a car? Start in England and drive west. Instructions followed clearly. I'm in Cornwall. I ran out of lunch. I knew I should have taken a left turn at Leon Fair. Play with a game ball. Get a gory. Can be a screen. Rain. Do a little bit of look. Ante. Sit. Let's go. 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 And now quite some more abbreviations said wrong. Sealed with a Twinkie. Tequila and tacos. Ice cream slurping orangutans. Insane clown envoy. Didn't vaccinate Dennis. Inexcusable operating system. Probably underage basic gamer. When it fails indefinitely. Net original stiff. Creepy emu owner. Federation of rave dancers. Mindless entertainment made eccentrically. Pretty sick individual. Big dog, small dogs. Bro's totally ship. Ugh, gross pork sandwich. JoJo's eventual ending, please. Very insensitive prick. Awkward, sloppy, moist recordings. Every dubstep music. Professional hipster dude. Drugs are really expensive. Really? Awesome. Mom. Questionable vehicle choice. A terrible movie. Balance your emotions. And now, r slash jokes. How many friend zone guys does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'll just compliment it and get pissed when it won't screw. I called in sick this morning on account of diarrhea. My boss told me to get my shit together. What do you call a spider with 20 eyes? Spider. A guy walking to a library and asks for a book on sea turtles. The librarian asks, hot back? The guy replies, yeah, little heads too. The wisest men in the village could not figure out when the sun went at night. So they stayed up all night discussing it, and then it dawned on them. What is Thanos' favorite social media? Obviously, Snapchat. The son says to his father, Dad, I'm thinking about a career in organized crime. Father, government or private sector? Steve Jobs would have been a better president than Donald Trump, but I shouldn't compare apples and oranges. I got a new job today at Old McDonald's Farm. I'm gonna be the CIO. I'm 16. 
If you see a robbery at the Apple Store, does that make you an eyewitness? What do you get when you cross an onion and a donkey? Most times you get an onion with a tail, but every once in a while you get a piece of ass that brings a tear to your eye. Urban Dictionary. Dude bro. A male, ages 18 to 24, generally of the Caucasian descent, who refers to their acquaintances as dude and or bro in the same sentence. In this case, the male uses both terms in one sentence. The conversation begins with dude and ends with bro. Nine times out of ten. Dude, what's up, bro? Bro, I'm straight chillin', dude. Look at that fucking dude, bro. Make it snow. It is similar to making it rain, except that instead of throwing dollar bills, one is so rich that they are able to throw diamonds. In effect, making it snow. Diamonds can be substituted for a large quantity of cocaine. Making it rain is for poor folk. I make it snow. YOLO. Carpe diem for stupid people. I'm gonna smoke poison ivy and see if my lungs get a rash, YOLO. Why doesn't he just say carpe diem? That sounds way better. Stupid people don't speak Latin, that's why they say YOLO. Student loan. A mystical transaction in which a student and or parents subjects themselves to financial slavery, indentured servitude for the foreseeable future. Struggle bus. Used to metaphorically describe a difficult situation, as in hard schoolwork. The word struggle can also be used in conjunction with other modes of transport, describing the death to which one is struggling, i.e. struggle scooter, struggle skateboard, struggle footwear. Barbie. A plastic whore. If Barbie is so popular, then why do you have to buy her friends? Shit, that's actually a good point. And now, another peek at r slash jokes. A man was arrested and taken to an interrogation room. He says to the police officer, I'm not saying a word without my lawyer present. You are the lawyer, says the policeman. Exactly! So where's my present? I'm trying to organize a hide-and-seek tournament for a while, but it's not easy. Good players are hard to find. I don't quite understand this hate against vegans. I've never had a beef with them. I told my wife she painted her eyebrows too high this morning. I don't know if she agreed, but she seemed surprised. Do not touch would probably be a really unsettling thing to read in Braille. Why do you never see transgender people with kids? Because they're transparent. Eh. The World Tongue Twister champion just got arrested. I heard they're giving him a really tough sentence. <laughs> My girlfriend told me to take this spider out instead of killing it. We went and had some drinks. Cool guy. Wants to be a web developer. What do you call a book club that's been stuck on one book for years? Church. Your mom is so fat that yesterday someone tried to convince me she was flat. <laughs> God damn that fuck out of me. <laughs> Confab. When you want to say coverage, but your hands are too small to hit all the letters on your keyboard. Despite constant negative press, Confab. Analog shit. Having to go to the toilet without a phone, tablet, or any other digital device. Shit, I left my cell phone at home, now I have to take an analog shit like a caveman. Life, a sexually transmitted terminal disease. Bay. Bay is a Danish word for poop, also used by people on the internet who think it means baby, sweetie, etc. Bay, I love you so much. Bay, my bay! I just made a bay. Nihilism. It's useless to define it. It's useless to give an example. Net forget. Net forget is a person who frequently goes on a website to do something, but completely forgets his or her original intention due to the overwhelming amount of information on the internet. I was on Wikipedia the other day trying to look up Jay-Z, but I'm such a net forget I ended up looking at cat pictures. Yeah. Trumpet. Pull a fact out of your ass. So, did you actually research those assumptions or did you just trumpet? <laughs> Wenger. A person who is unwilling to spend money. We need a car to have money to spend, but my husband is being a wanger. BDSM. Bible discussion study meeting. Hey, want to do some BDSM? Sure, I love Jesus. Potato. People get confused when sentences don't end the way they potato. And now some abbreviations said wrong. Big. Black. Cat. Actual British cuisine. Hot damn my interest! Great, internet's 
fricked. Unbelievably rough legumes. Thighs or taps? Pretty regular orangutan. Crazy expensive overseer. Bees are erased. By those waffles. Citizen on patrol. Pancake syrup integration. Infinite Donkey Kong. Franny Felcher's fantastic French fudge. Extraterrestrial anonymous. Stop waifuing all things. Painted nothing. I love y yellow. Quiet Quasimodo. Gonna grow up? Carpe diem. And carpe diem again. All right, Reddit, what do you got for jokes today? Top Reddit posters should use their karma to help the environment. They are already experts at recycling. They should stock ATMs better. I went to four different ones and they all said insufficient funds. <laughs> what do you think that means? There are two types of people in this world. Those who can extrapolate from incomplete data. What do you get when you spell man backwards? <laughs> Flashbacks. A Buddhist monk approaches a burger food truck and says, Make me one with everything. I actually ugh'd at this joke when I first saw it. Would you like to donate $2 to end world hunger? Of course! Holy shit, I had no idea we were that close! Just spent $300 on a limousine and discovered that the fee doesn't include a driver. I can't believe I spent all that money and I have nothing to show for it. I like my lemon like I like my coffee. I've never had coffee, but it smells really nice. And get out, get out, get out, no Willow 3, you can just go ahead and get out. My friends and I experimented with sex and drugs when we were in high school. <laughs> I was the control group. YouTube reminds me of your mom. It went down on all of America last night. Oh! And some more abbreviations said wrong. Well, forgot my lunch. Two Korean bands. Never smoke dope. Is this loss? End of Doritos. Bakugo's a penis. Never ever want sincerity. Oh, so much egg. Unofficial French Oscars. Oh, it's a compact, adorable tiger. Gods of all gadgets linked eternally. Attention destroying sequences. But I need them to live. Big dog snuggling me. For all the rich dudes. Calms brain down. Random access memes. Anime addicts anonymous. Chicken shaman's dead. Hashtag how are you at hug? I am good at hug. You told me I was the flyest. I feel betrayed. Now you know how we felt when you reviewed Sonic Colors. When you at the party, I'm on the treadmill. When you sleep, I'm on the treadmill. When I tweet, I'm on the treadmill. Remember this. Holy crap. Jaden Smith became a mood. Hey, instead of yelling hello when you think a murderer is in your house, say goodbye. Then if he's there, he'll be like, well, okay, I guess I'm leaving, bye. Listen up, teens, there's nothing meme about smoking cigarettes. It's not Netflix and chill to take a drug. Fidget spin yourself into church. What the hell did I just read? Alexa, make all these people leave my house. Playing Nickelback. That awkward moment running near a friend's house when you want to text them. Hey, can I loop in your bathroom real quick? Rules for my car. No food, I pick the music, must put this mask on, feed off the ash, here, take this gun, we're robbing a bank, don't be a p Patrick. Food, $200, data, 150, rent, 800, candles, 3600, utility, $150. Uh, so someone is good at the economy, please tell me with this budget thing, my family's dying. When I start posting on Twitter, it's like orgasming when your dad walks in unexpectedly. There's no hope of stopping, it's all just coming out. Keep talking. I know some more abbreviations said wrong. Actually, my original story's cool. Dudes in yellow. Have me, Max. Do not assume. Pretty sick instinct. Butts only last once. Simulations is millennial. Make obsoletes dank. Gaslighting President Shyster. Watch your dubs. Fuck. Let's buy stuff. Bakugo is still a penis. Anime thighs are death. Great bongos. Kill your insecurity. I forgot yesterday. So fucking vain. False use of common knowledge. Your enemy is garbage. Really? Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Urban Dictionary Reading. Are you ready to learn some more pointless terms? Well, here we go. <clears throat> Body booking. 
Someone who is constantly posting pictures on Facebook of themselves in some swimsuits and workout clothes to show everyone how hot they are. Also paired with constant status updates about fruits, vegetables, juicing, working out, going to Whole Foods, and posting articles about these topics. This generally annoys the shit out of others, and there are never any comments on the posts except for the person's SO, who is equally obsessed and annoying. Gee, I sure am enjoying this green apple carrot protein shake before my 50 mile bike ride in the mountains with my hot boyfriend. Oh baby, it's gonna be a great day. Can you make some of that veggie soup later? Stop body booking and go eat some goddamn cheese fries! Mitt Romney money. One that has money beyond that of a normal baller, yet pays less taxes than a street pharmaceutical rep or an illegal immigrant. Who that new Lex he be driving? He must got that Mitt Romney money. I sure wish I could have some Mitt Romney money. Cock blocked by Steve Jobs. The act or reactive measure when the opposite sex makes eye contact with you and then proceeds to plug in their iPod as a defense mechanism to prevent you from making a move on them. I saw this girl on the bus and was getting hit on her, then she busted at her iPod. Aw oh, man, you got cock blocked by Steve Jobs. You know what, you should probably actually write that defense mechanism down. Not just for gross people like Josh and Sam that just wanna, you know, do the nasty, but like, for annoying people in general. Bedgasm. A feeling of complete and utter euphoria which peaks when climbing into a bed at the end of an 18 hour workday, a long road trip, or hours of extremely strenuous physical activity. Under perfect conditions, the physical release has been likened to that of an intense sexual experience. It was a three hour drive in the middle of the night. I could barely stay awake. When I got home, I climbed out of the covers and had a 10 minute badgasm. Oh, God, yes. Bachelor sip. To put your head under the faucet for a drink to avoid using a glass. God, that. Imagining that hurts my neck. Bed gravity. An irresistible force that draws you back to bed, or toward any mattress, couch, or other soft horizontal surface. Usually stronger when one or more persons are already on said furniture. Name shame. The point at which it's too late to ask for someone's name, because you spent so much time around them that you should already know it. Eater's remorse. The deep feeling of regret one feels after eating a large sum of food, eating something unhealthy, or just eating in general. What? That's a thing? I just eat food and be happy. Internest. The cocoon of blankets, pillows, duvets, and comfy things you gather around yourself to keep warm whilst spending long amounts of time on the internet. Not during the summer. Too hot. Asshole. Someone who asks many stupid, pointless, obnoxious questions. I know a lot of those kind of people. Bro, some of <laughs> what? A best friend that you never see. He's always hiding or just at home. Oh fuck, that's me. That is a mood. California, no. Oh god. Okay. The way rejection tends to be handled by Californians, who are sunny in disposition and less brusque than East Coast residents. Instead of bluntly saying no, Californians say no by avoiding the question forgetting to respond to emails, and generally postponing the issue. The best way to give a California no is to do nothing at all, as opposed to saying it outright. That's one way, but I'm pretty sure there's another way of saying a California no, and it also pairs with a California yes. The other way of saying California no is yeah, no, and a California yes is no yes. My friends in LA, why are you so confusing? And now, weird Twitter. Slept in a kid's house once in third grade. Saw him pour milk into bowl first, then cereal. Never talked to him again. He's in jail now. Step one, sit in toddler's seat of a shopping cart. Two, tip over till feet touch the ground. Three, stand up. You are now a grocery turtle. No one can stop you. At the stroke of midnight, Neo wept softly, cradling the sour cream as it expired. The guy at Chipotle couldn't close my burrito. He looked up at me. I looked at him. I whispered, it's not your fault. He wept in my arms. Wait, these are pistachios? I've been calling them wood clams. Your body is a ghost factory that takes one lifetime to produce a ghost. Upgrade your regular rats to sewer rats today. A simple trick the Rat King doesn't want you to know. Step one, put them down the toilet. Hello, 
fellow teen humans, I heard the coolest place for us teens to hang out is mm, the colossal pillar of wasp eggs. Let's go. Do not bring weapons. Draw me like one of your friend's toasts. You're terrible at metaphors. Wow, jealousy is a bad mustache on you. And now weird Twitter part two. Okay. Folks, apparently Facebook has been purposely messing with people's emotions. Did they hire my ex-wife, Karen? If you read this, I miss you. Boss tells me I can kiss my ferrets at work, but no open mouth. I'll punch the floor so hard a screensaver deactivates. Hello, this is your captain speaking. I have, uh, fallen out of the plane. Yikes. Well, very impressed with the range on this, uh, Bluetooth headset, though. Buckle up. Kellogg's Special K. That's what Queen Elizabeth has for breakfast. In a yellow Tupperware bowl. I've been underestimating myself for far too long now. The worst part of nationalism is having to pretend the flag is really good. Like, yeah, the country looks exactly like that. They nailed it. In college, my professor walked in dressed as Snape and told us to turn to page 394. Capitalization can really change a sentence. Example, I love to eat candy, versus I love to eat capitalization. Ask the bread and Krispy Kremes for five Nutella donuts and she says, have you got any nut allergies? I fell, I'm planning suicide by donut, exactly. Children crying as stepdad attempts to overturn custom t-shirt mall kiosk that accidentally typed number two dad on his photo. Stepdad also cried. Oh boy, lunch, let's see what mom packed. Hope it's not just a note that says I'm a punk ass buster. Uh, okay, it is that note again. Well, tomorrow's a new day. Damn, girl, are you a kid's movie from my generation? Because you're fun and cute, but also horrifying in so many ways I didn't originally realize. It is time to cleanse your mind with, well, Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. 2019 will most likely be the last year to end with teen for the rest of our lives. We spend the beginning of our lives being told we need to play fair, just to be told a few years later that life isn't fair. There are people out there who have had crushes on each other at the same time and could have ended up together, but both of them were too afraid to make the first move. Forgetting about something is one of the few things you can only do by accident, but it's impossible to do on purpose. Making fun of a fat guy at the gym is like making fun of a homeless guy at a job fair. Just don't do it. It's ironic that Switzerland, with its reputation as always being neutral, literally has a big plus sign as their flag. Since matter can neither be created nor destroyed, the atoms you are composed of technically make you as old as the universe. Most people here would appreciate a hug more than sex. If Assassin's Creed Unity is really going to be used to restore the Notre Dame Church, we'd be creating our reality based on a simulation, in a way. And finally, the weirder you are in high school, the more attractive you are to bullies. But after a certain point of weirdness, Bullies will avoid you at all cost. Take notes. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Okay, so don't don't question why I was thinking about this. But all the bees in Bee Movie either had beehive hairdos or buzz cuts. And that took forever to realize, and I hate and love it at the same time. So today I learned the reason Florida has so many weird news headlines is because the state has an open criminal record ruling. Which means it may not be just because Florida is back crap crazy, it's just that they share every reported crime committed. Your own state or province could be just as weird, but it's kept secrets. Oh, forbidden you say? Well, doesn't that just make me want to push it even more? Okay, so I hit Verizon and a sales rep jumped out of nowhere, kicking me in the shins. And the sprint rep watched. Just don't, don't hit those buttons. As summer gets closer, here's a PSA reminder to properly hydrate your golf friend, partner, and or spouse. The heat can wear them out quite fast. You know, the only thing just as remarkable as seeing pictures of a black hole for the first time is how fast the internet turned it into black hole chan. And lordy, is she thick. My god, internet, calm down. Okay, Nintendo, hear me out here. Redhead Zelda for the next installment. Please? Maybe? Look at her! If you're a new age cowboy and when you want to throw your empty gun, do you yell yeet -haw? Roses are red. Chocolates are decadent. We must hurry. At this rate, Sonic will be elected president! Why, why was this necessary? Chaos and confusion bring me joy. Breadsticks? 
child's play. Bring me the source of these sticks for an appetizer. Sir, you, you don't mean... Yes. The bread tree. And now, a curse word. Wiener. So I have a character idea. All right, hear me out. Strong, independent, non-binary character. A them fatale, if you will. You either die saying that's not cash money ironically young, or live long enough to see yourself start saying it seriously. So yesterday I got angry at one of my friends and I shouted, That wasn't very cash money of you! And when I realized what I said, I stood there horrified at myself because I actually meant that seriously and angrily. I am so sorry. So what may be small in the universe, but is cherished, will be protected, and going to be okay. Your existence. Hello, Mr. Tiny Turtle. Do you require assistance getting across the road? Or are you good? You good? Yeah, you're probably good. You got a creek over there. You're good. Just be very careful, okay? Okay. All right, you know that feeling when someone throws you something and you catch it really well, like with one hand or you save it from nearly dropping or you caught it from a massive distance and everyone around you lights up like, Yo! Good catch! Nice! I want to live in that feeling. It is so pure. So my anxiety has a loophole that if somebody else is equally or more uncomfortable, I develop the sudden ability to do the thing. Bro, I can't go and ask for more ketchup for myself, but if my friend wants more ketchup, I am out of my seat in a second. Lies I have told. I always tell people that my cat doesn't really like people that much, even though she is really cuddly, so they feel special when she cuddles them. <gasps> you are the best person! So one time a stranger on Neopets years ago told me, School makes you think you have to be good at everything, but sometimes it's okay to just be good at one thing, even if it's not something you get a grade for. They don't grade you for being a good person. And to be honest, I still think about it. Little did I know all I needed this whole time was in glowing purple text and that icon of the goth fairy. Scientists invented a pill that enables dogs to fully speak and understand English. It lasts for 10 minutes and will only work one time. You give a pill to your 12-year-old border collie, whom you've had since they were a pup. Your dog immediately says, All right, listen very carefully. You have always been the good boy. You get down on yourself, but the good boy was you all along. Good morning, cruel world. Uh, don't you mean goodbye? No, I meant good morning. This world may be cruel, but I'm still kicking. This really cheered me up. All right, do me a favor. Go outside, look at the moon. The moon's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, take a picture of the moon. Oh, no, bad picture. It looks like a weird dumb speck. But the moon's so pretty. You know you're really pretty, too. Cameras aren't very nice sometimes, but you're still pretty. Just like the moon. I was in line at Aldi and this girl with two toddlers in front of me had her card declined and she looked so freaking sad and said, let me call my husband real quick. And it was only $18. So I just paid for it and she was very sweet and then when she walked off, the lady behind me said, you know, that was probably a scam, right? And I was like, even if it was, like, what a sad scam, right? $18 at the Aldi's? If you're scamming me for some Tyson chicken and apple juice and cauliflower, then just take my money, please. The scam. People are friggin' wild. I just shamelessly ran after an ice cream truck. There is no shame in chasing after your dreams. You're an inspiration. Was it really necessary for me to be born? Eh, probably not. However, double chocolate chip cookies aren't really necessary either, but I wouldn't want to live in a world without them. That's the most uplifting thing I've read all day. Yo, Bruno Mars used to almost excessively drop sad songs about unrequited love or lost love or whatever. Now he's just out there dropping one feel-good banger after another. Like, what kind of goals? Give me them goals, boy. I want them goals. All right, just because you don't look like somebody who you think is attractive doesn't mean you aren't attractive. Flowers are pretty, but so are Christmas lights, and they look nothing alike. I really like this. I needed this. And just remember... When times get rough, don't give in. Keep smiling, keep going forward, and maybe, just maybe, keep dancing. Thank you guys so much for watching. On the subject of wholesome things, I have a wonderful project I'd like to share with you all. 
So I don't know how many of you have read the comic series uh, Hearts for Sale or The Heartsmith. I think the titles interchange depending on where you see it. But it is a very, very sweet comic and it is one of my absolute favorites because not only does it really kind of do a really good romantic thing, it has a very heartfelt way of storytelling. And honestly, after hearing about this project, I'm so excited to see it happen because of all the comics that deserve it, this is the one that absolutely deserves it. Hartsmith is getting an animated short film done by these guys, and it is beautiful. The concept art looks amazing. The characters are so adorable, and they look how they should feel in the comics. And I, I, wanna, I want you guys to check them out on Kickstarter because they are just doing a fantastic job recapturing this comic into a film. And they could really use your help to get it off the ground. And the best part is, the best part, because as if getting the movie wasn't enough, the best part is all the extra money that they make for the Kickstarter campaign will be going to child heart care centers. Just, just go check out the Kickstarter. I cannot embellish on this enough. You, you guys are going to love it. So thank you guys for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Maybe we'll do some more wholesome content again. Can we talk about the sexual tension between two gas stations on the same intersection? I am so sick of these ships. Two gas stations can't even be in the same block without some wall not shipping them. Well, I can't get a single fix for Denny's Applebee's with Denny's bottoming. You're literally out of your mind if you think Denny's isn't a top. I wish the 2012 apocalypse actually happened. Don't think too much, unless you're thinking about baby crows like these. If that's the case, then continue thinking about them a lot. Because that's a really good idea and I fully support it. I, I, I'm having a stroke. This cannot be really happening. Yo, I walk into Burger King, slam $5 on the counter, and demand a sad meal pronto. Yo, why every male protag in a horror game called Ethan? They know what they did. Arguably the most ominous reply on any of my posts. Good job. <laughs> what? What a job, Doc. <laughs> I want 37 of them. Apparently this is how zoologists weigh tiny birds. This really needed to be on this blog. This is horribly undignified. I demand a lawyer. Had a fast travel. Down NyQuil and sleep on the public bus. I, I, I just tried to do this and I saw a man sitting in the back, dead ass, eating an entire whole cucumber. And I remembered I can't fast travel with enemies nearby. <gasps> oh god. Truth or dare? <laughs> dare. Order me a pizza. <gasps> I have been blind to the possibilities! Everyone, meet my jar of jars. His name is Jar Jar. When they're psychic, Jar Jar clinks! I was just assigned at birth. When I came out, Doc said, mm, Yep. And now I'm here. Cats sleep on you in Minecraft. This is the best update! I love Pokemon's world building because it's just so absurd but interesting at the same time. Yes, there are gods, and yes, they have godly powers, even control over the very fabrics of reality. But here's the kicker. They're literally just feral animals that will attempt to fight each other on site due to territory reasons and not give a shyster about the ramifications of their battles. Imagine living knowing that reality could collapse at any second because Palkia looked at Dialga in a funny way, and now Dialga's out for blood. My god, I do not want to live in that world then. Okay, but if someone from our Gen Z population doesn't open a square-themed food restaurant called Dinecraft, then, then what's the point? LP, do you take constructive criticism? Only in villager noises. Huh. For, for a daily Garfield strip, I just I removed a speech bubble and gave John the control-alt-delete face and realized I had no other plans from there, so this, this just exists. OP, put it back! My favorite thing about big dogs is when you push them over, they're just like, Oh, I'm, I'm lying down now. Someone might scratch my stomach. I might nap. Endless possibilities. Whereas you push little dogs over and they're all like, Vengeance! Yes, my boy is Can you believe people sit down and... They sit down and they turn on country music? And they listen to it and they have a good time? Can you believe that some people actually have different music tastes than you? I know it's you, Tim McGraw. Oh, crap. You flirt and you kiss and for what? Sex, love, pathetic. I do it to level my charisma stat. Huh? A gamer, you may pass. To make my girlfriend happy and make her feel special. You shall not pass. Get out of here, you basic. It is time to cleanse your mind with, well, you know the drill by now. Fist bumps are more hygienic than handshakes.
The Apple default alarm tone must be the most hated sound on Earth. Microscopes showed us how great we are, and telescopes showed us how tiny we are. Being ugly and saying you love yourself is inspiring, and yet being attractive and saying you love yourself is egotistical. Most people refuse to accept they will no longer exist once they die, but have no problem accepting they didn't exist before they were born. As far as technology has come, handmade is considered to be of higher quality. In the future, we will look back at the 2010s as the golden age of superhero films. We have two unrelated celebrities named Will Ferrell and Ferrell Williams. Brands spend millions on advertising their products each year, yet fashion brands charge us premium rates to buy clothing with their logo on, thus charging us to advertise their clothes for them. And finally, Google really missed out on calling their self-driving car Google Drive. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Mood. Bedwritten Victorian child. Papa, am I going to die? Papa, I'm colder. Will grandmama be there in the light? <laughs> Same. Thomas Sanders is just Fred for theater kids. Who's Fred? God, I wish that were me. The only positive to either of these shows not ending in a gay romance is that Naruto and Sherlock show a friendship that can have a stronger bond than a romance or even a marriage. Are, are you straight? Hang on. I want to hear about the bond between Sherlock and Naruto. Go on. Whose side are you on? Wait a minute. This is what American politics is like. <laughs> not wrong. Improvised weaponry. They beat Jesus with that. Vegan BDSM equipment. This post killed me like three times. Hey, I've never had a nightmare before and kind of want to know what they're like. Can you help me out? Sure. See you soon. This is so freaking powerful. It'll burn off all my eyebrows. Tearing bread apart and handing it to someone else is so spiritual and intimate. Let's give this bread. Bro, Jesus of Nazareth made this post. So a Whole Foods employee catches me stealing valuable artichoke water and tries to apprehend me. But I quickly jump through one of his gauges and escape. <laughs> Why is this so funny? DIY shingles. Well, like the disease of the roof tiles. Eh, whatever. The walls blew out of my recycling bin and brushed against my lip. And yet, I can't stop thinking about him. Uh, who? The, 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 the wasp? What if life had, like, loading screens? You walk into Walmart and it's like, Objective, purchase soap for grandma. God, if Walmart was a video game, I want all of my money back. Everybody been acting funny lately, but it's okay, because I'm about to act hilarious. Why is this vaguely threatening? This sounds like my mom when she talks to herself out loud about everyone in the room. Oh my god, they're right. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me clap the world's smallest ass cheeks. Is this funny yet? Due to personal reasons, I'm suing the entire human race. That's that. That's it. That's li that's literally the movie. That's it. That's 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 it. That's it. That's it. That's just it. You ever see a URL that's like shipping is my bloodstream, and you're like a little weird, but they're probably just a kid, so it's fine. And then you look in their bios, and it turns out they're in their twenties. Maybe they're a UPS driver. You don't know that. Freud said, I don't care about anything you're about to say if you start your paragraph with these two words. Freud said it's my turn to play the Xbox. I am average American man. I work 15 hours in hamburger mine to buy one rock and roll disc. Bro, I'm pretty sure this is a KGB spy being questioned by the police in 1985. New law. All MLM have to have a good day or else I will fight whoever is making you sad. Dude, MLMs can't continue to exist. They're scams and annoying as hell. <clears throat> MLM as in men loving men, not multi-level marketing, my friend. Oh! God dang it, my left earbud broke, which sucks because I listen to Queen! Easy come, easy go, little high. Oh. Yo, where did he get that? Dude, he finished the winter event quest. <gasps> my students react to Greek mythology. No offense, but why would you follow Dionysus if that means you have to party in the woods? Why wouldn't you? Dude, what? You can't be a lion and a goat and a dragon. That's, that's, that's too many. That's too many. In all fairness, if Apollo wanted to date me, I'd turn into a tree, too. She can't be his wife. She's his sister. That didn't stop Zeus. Ouch. Is there anybody Zeus didn't get pregnant? Like, seriously, I had to make a mythology family tree for English class, and it's literally all Zeus. Eris kind of a jerk. Dude, she literally threw her child off a mountain because he was too ugly. What did you expect?
Why is everything about horses? Oh, he starts eating people. Typical. So basically, you shouldn't ever interact with a bull in ancient Greece. Ever. Killed 99 bears. A fact that if actually accomplished, should be put on a tombstone. My favorite part is, we hope he has gone to rest. What, like, they weren't sure? Maybe if ever the bear uprising should start again, he would rise from the ground to finish what he started and slay that 100th bear? Was this man so powerful they are concerned he might have not decided to rest at all and is simply biding his time? No, the bears made that tombstone. A warning and a prayer that he really, truly stays down. Curry beat pasta time! The creepiest pasta is lasagna, IMO. How did he get so wide? I, that's literally not what I was expecting. Lawful good, my friend. True neutral, my guy. Neutral evil, my man. Chaotic evil, my good sir. Chaotic good, my son. Neutral good, my boy. Chaotic neutral, my dude. And evil evil, my lady. Yo, when I see myself on Reddit, I go, <laughs> it's me. Every time. You don't need to be so stressed. Okay, but consider this. I am. Let's go, Pride Knights. Dude, this is so cool. Dude, screw cosplays. I'm just going to cut armholes in an anime body pillow. When you're an anime girl and you're tired of everyone saying you're their waifu, so you're going to beat the snot out of them. Today I learned famous playwright Henrik Ibsen, after overhearing his nurse assure visitor he was doing better, sputtered his last words, On the contrary. Yo, you ever die just to flex on a medical professional? No, but I'm gonna. I like my women curvy. Lots and lots of curves. So many curves. Maybe even a spiral shape with ketchup. My ideal woman is actually curly fries. I personally, I prefer crinkle cuts, but you do you, buddy. Always listen to your heart. Unless you can listen to Fallout Boy. Then always listen to Fallout Boy. That's sound advice right there. You just, you just do that. What the hell is Tumblr's definition for PDA? I keep seeing it in the tags for posts, and I don't know what it stands for. I'm so confused. Personal digital assistant? Public display of affection? Parenteral drug association? Pancake dispensing android? I don't know what it was before, but that's exactly what it is now. Tooth fairies are a smaller and friendlier subspecies of a larger and much more hostile bone fairies. Well, thank you for this bespoke nightmare. Bro, forget that. How much money do I get for a femur under my pillow? It's time to cleanse the mind with Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. If everybody boycotts plastic like they're boycotting James Charles, pollution would end. One of the most successful smear campaigns ever done was schools and teachers convincing students Wikipedia is extremely unreliable due to anyone being able to edit it whenever they like. You sell an hour of your life for $17 doesn't sound nearly as good as you make $17 an hour. We think of people sleeping in as lazy, yet people going to bed early are not considered lazy. If you don't like someone, anything they do can seem stupid. If humanity vanished, the stock market would continue on, with automated bots trading with each other until they all eventually break down. The day you become independent from your parents that spoiled you is like switching from creative to survival. We all have an inner monologue, our inner voice that narrates our whole lives. But only Morgan Freeman's life is narrated by Morgan Freeman. The internet is the greatest sources of information, yet causes the most misinformation. Apple is air, Google has earth, Amazon has fire, and it's only a matter of time before a company makes water and the avatar shows up. And finally, if Thor's brother subtly dropped his key on the ground, it's low keys, low key, low key. And god dang it, this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Oh my god, I figured it out. Game of Thrones is anime plots for non-anime watchers. Think about it. So, according to my meme research, we shout Yeet for distance and Kobe for accuracy. So say if we combine the two, a Yeet Kobe, or Kobe Yeet if you will, what we get is the perfect shot. This concludes my TED talk. Pick up line number 99. Hey you, are you Google? Cause you got everything I've been looking for. Almost to the point I'm a little concerned of how much you know. I just realized, at age 29, I can buy a cake for no reason. I've been adulting wrong this whole time. I thought you said you were dummy thick. No, 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 I'm demi thick. My thighs glow with the power of gods and no mortal can possibly comprehend their existence. Oh, 
Uh, Minecraft fulfills the Gen C and millennial fantasy to build your own house, befriend animals, and build mining zones without safety inspectors chewing you out. You can't hide from me forever, Seymour. Oh, shit! Ah, uh, yes! I really enjoy a lot of gaming YouTubers. Like, uh, Jack Septimer, Germ Grooms, Soupman, and, uh, Mathapile. T Tumblr, what are you trying to sell me here? Anime adaptation of Saw? I hate I get weird thoughts in the regular now. For example, Bartholomew Simpson, Elizabeth Simpson, Marjorie Simpson, and Home Run Simpson. Local punk is awake too early with only half a cup of coffee available, who now contemplates anarchy. Ah, oh, that was a terrible day. I've been watching RE Zero, and I get why so many people love Rem. Why am I a for blue hair? I'm surprised Todoroki didn't get a localized nickname of Hot Pocket, because one side is frozen, and the other is fully cooked. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Alright, hold up. Let's talk about this character for a second, okay? White hair that brushes over one eye, can morph into a demon, wielded a pretty dang cool sword, had a pretty nasty father, also a demon, barely knew his mom, wannabe ladies man, clever quips, but really also ticks off others. Now, which character am I talking about? Allow me to explain the anatomy of a cat's paw. Smoosh beans, piddle paws, little piddles, smoosh bean piddly doos, and fluff stuff pink piddle chubber bubbies. As a biologist, I can attest for the accuracy of this. The harder you slap someone's butt, the less awkward it is. Yo, slap someone's butt so hard you yeet them. A burnt tongue is the worst injury because it's like I'm being betrayed by one of my best friends. I did a change food, how could you? I love booze. Booze loves me. Holy crap, I have to be. I'm so smashed, I'm falling on the floor. <laughs> Alcoholic dinosaur. Party no! Not every place you fit in is where you belong. Like, way to make a point, but this is also a pretty cursed image. Look at it! This movie is the perfect example of why a bard and a rogue should never leave the party and go off on their own adventure. Ah, uh, this movie is a perfect example of why a bard and a rogue should absolutely leave the party and have their own adventure. I I I'm about to have a stroke over this lettuce bed. Finally, I can feel like a snail again. Again? Dearly beloved, we are swaggered here today to join these two bros in holy matrihomie. Okay, 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 what? The bees in the wasps now recognize me as the person who gives them water. Which sounds cool, but it means every time I go outside they harass me until I fill up the waterer. On the bright side, I no longer have to fear wasps as they just buzz around me non-threateningly now. You are their water deity now. The water bringer has arrived! All hail! All hail! <gasps> He make a big steppy! Where's he going? I wanna know! Son, we need to talk about your report card. Son, did you know your grades spell ACDC? Here's a high five and your bedtime is never! That's, that, that's Dean as a father, isn't it? Yep! Mmm, honey. That's not honey, don't eat that! Oh my god, I'm crying. Spicy honey. You can eat it, but only once! What the hell? I know! Who eats kiwi ice cream? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, what is that? I didn't realize growing up meant dying inside, but hey. <laughs> it's whatever. Instructions on food. Cook 20 to 24 minutes. Using my superior intellect, I have deduced that the optimal cooking time is precisely 22 minutes. That is literally how I feel every time. What does I-L-Y-S-M mean? I like your sick memes? That's what it means now. Uh, I don't make the rules. That's what it is. You've heard of Grand Theft Auto. Now get ready for a Steely Wheelie Automobile. Bah! Disregard the constabulary! Rogue life! <laughs> and now it is time for some more shoe thoughts. By Tumblr. When you're in control of a noise, it doesn't annoy you. But as soon as someone else starts making the same noise, it gets annoying really fast. Everyone wants to visit Mars. But no one wants to visit all the Mars-like places on Earth. There are many places just as cold, barren, and radioactive as Mars that never get visited. Courage is knowing it might hurt, and doing it anyway. Stupidity is the same. Given the choice between a billion dollars or a single chicken wing, a dog will choose the chicken wing every time. No matter who you are, when a two-year-old hands you a toy phone, you answer it. Glass is weird. You can look at it, through it, or at your reflection. A fence around your house 
is also a fence around the entire world, except your house. Don't let anyone tell you you're worthless. Your organs are expensive on the black market. If Microsoft Word decreased its default margin size, it would probably save millions of pounds of paper per year. If you get too close to radiation in a comic book, you become Spider-Man. If you get too close to it in real life, you get visited by Spider-Man. And finally, it's so strange that in the real world we have animals that can spit acid, punch shockwaves, and even channel electricity, but none that can breathe fire. Doesn't make dragons seem as weird now, does it? And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Sometimes I think Tumblr's Midwest jokes are too on the nose, but then I remember I live five miles away from a field of identical eight-foot corn statues. I have several questions! Yes, hello, this is your pilot speaking, and uh, by pilot, I mean I read a wiki how on flying a plane once, so I guess I'll just have to wing it. <laughs> just a little pilot humor, okie dokie. Nothing to worry about, folks, I'm sure I can figure this out. Scientists be like, you cannot drink that, and you're not welcome in this laboratory anymore. Well, guess what? I drank it, and I'm still alive. Sometimes I hate Tumblr, but then one of you posts a picture of a little cow with curly hair, and I remember why I'm here. <sighs> I slept for almost 12 hours, but I might still be tired, so let's go for 12 more, just in case. Randy, that's a coma! That sounds festive. Randy, no! Dude, what if a prince is cursed to be a dragon, but instead of being upset by it, they're like, Hell yeah, I'm a dragon! And they spend weeks finding the perfect decrepit castle haunt, and they try to convince their fiancé to be the princess in the tower, just for like a week, and everyone is like, We can break the freaking curse! And the prince is like, But I'm a dragon! Me. I want the story. I want the story right now. When an earthquake happens, coffins become underground maracas. Thanks for that not at all terrifying image. I appreciate it. Today, I learned NASA's plan to dispose of corpses in space is to freeze them in the airlock and then violently shake the body with a robotic arm until it turns into space dust. We have only one punishment. Bad astronauts get put in the corpse wiggler. All right, focus time. Dancing queen, young and sweet, Rava Rasputin, yeah. God dang it! Canon, thing that goes boom. Canon, an event that occurs within a published story, and they both destroy ships, though. D did you just? Destiny is a game about beating up gods with the power of friendship, being gay, and dancing. I don't believe in destiny. This butt of an Earth really got a life plan for all seven billion of us? I may be a fool, but I'm not stupid. <clears throat> I'm talking about Destiny the video game, not the concept of fate. But Red Herring Official, you do you. All right, I'm going to be the one to say it. American sex ed is taught like Dolores Umbridge's Defense of the Dark Arts class. Why would you need to know about sex? If you aren't having it, there'll be no need for protection. Okay, but this is the most accurate thing I've ever seen. It, it's, it's amazing. Oh my god. Not to get too controversial or anything, but I think I should be allowed to set things on fire with my mind. I know how it feels. If there's a heaven's no and a hell yes, why isn't there a purgatory maybe? Perhaps. And now it is time for more sure theories. By Tumblr. SpongeBob is one of the very few shows that embraces friendship instead of romantic relationships. Yeah, you know, except that time where SpongeBob fell in love with a hamburger, but you know. It's weird how flies have all the room they need outside, but still manage to find the gap in your slightly open window. It's possible that somewhere in the universe, a whole intergalactic war is happening, and we don't know anything about it. Pornhub is doing more for the environment than PETA is. You almost never see person fights off attacker with karate learned in self defense classes stories. That's a very good thought, actually. Earth was originally a dinosaur planet. We are the mutants that arose after the apocalypse. Oh my god. If you stole one second of every person on Earth, you'd gain an additional 229 years of a lifetime. The only thing holding your flesh up is bones, and the only thing holding your bones together is flesh. Black Widow's peanut butter jelly sandwich had more screen time than Captain Marvel. Um, actually, it was just peanut butter. Using voice to text on your iPhone is literally like playing the game telephone with your telephone. And finally, you're the tiniest bit older than the reflection you see in a mirror. Hashtag too deep for me, bro. 
And this has been Show It Lose by Tumblr.